So, welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Crisis Core Reunion. Uh, and uh, just just before, I guess last time, uh, we had... Uh, oh, man, it was a lot, actually. <laughs> we basically killed Angeal. Whoops, went on vacation. Or yeah, Genesis also, quote unquote, died. Turned out didn't die, okay? Went on vacation. Genesis retaliated, came back with a vengeance. All right, and now we're on... Um, a mission with Sephiroth and Cloud to check out what's happening at the Nibelheim, uh, reactor, you know, and checking up on all that weird report stuff. So we're in, we're in the inn. We're going to see what's going down. Going to check on our hungry boys. Um, and, uh, Cowboy Tifa is going to yeehaw, uh, and, uh, uh, I guess take us to the, to the reactor to do, to do reactor stuff. Uh, everything's fine. Nothing bad happening. It's a chill weekend with the bros. All right. Nothing can go wrong. Uh, before we dive into it, though, um, stuff's going to be coming up soon. So I'm going to beef myself out a little bit just so I'm not struggling. I really never know how to anticipate the leveling in this game of like, is this low or not? Um, <laughs> so I just want to go do some missions uh, and uh, beef up just a smidgen, just a little bit. Lairs. I like Hojo's Laboratory because it's like just bosses. Um... Let's go. I haven't finished this yet. Uh, do you think there might be put a little treat after the credits? I think maybe, yeah. Uh, Crisis Core seems, you know, wants to connect itself to Remake at least a little bit. So I'm sure they might have added a post credit scene. I don't know. From You know, they haven't really changed or added much so far except for, like, small things. At least story-wise. Gameplay-wise, completely different beast. Love it. All right, I forgot. I also have my power stance This'll thing. Do. Hold on. Uh, jump. Gotcha. All right, bear with me. Okay. Fire, it says? Why? Uh, fry? Uh, scrambled. Let me adjust the volume at least a little bit. It's really loud in my ear. Also, Aurora, thank you so much for the 27. Welcome back. Good to see you once again. Uh, saying loving all the content in Streamland. Thank you for all your hard work and happy. Oh, you're always so sweet, Aurora. Thank you so much for for, for being uh, so generous throughout the year and uh, giving so many uh, emotes to, and subs to everybody. Thank you so much. As I always appreciate your, your positivity. Thank you. Get too kind. Keeping it rolling, too. Okay, woo, all right. Fishy time. Guys, are you a baked or fried kind of person? That's the real question. Oh, oh yeah. Me, I like it fried. No, it's not good for me, but I do like fried. Just like Actually, chicken, baked back. chicken, fried chicken. Really anything can be baked or fried. Uh, whoops. hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. You Excuse down me. A pay. Smack. Uh, smack cam. Got him. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Fried, fried, okay, good. I think we're all, yeah. I'll tell you, wonder what the person who first discovered fried food was thinking. Like, oh no, I dropped my my food in all of this hot oil. Oh my god, this is delicious. Like, I I, I can only imagine how it went. I'm always so curious about the origin of certain food recipes. Because some of them are so fucking odd. But it's just like, this only exists because of desperation. Also, we all jumped at the same time. Twinsies? Triplies? There's just two or three of us, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. This is fire. I'm trying that this this Buster Sword proficiency thing. Uh, yeah, it does be climbing slowly. We're not even at one percent yet. Love that for us. Ow! Try to block that. Oh yeah. This is a system. Oh, I think we've seen this one. All right, we're good. Oh yeah. It's the crunch. Mm-hmm. What's the thing? I mean, fried chicken. Like, if you eat it without the fried skin, like you know, it's. It's so many, uh, it's way less calories, but like, why would you do that? It's so good. Activating combat mode. This'll do. Okay, yeah, the jump seems to work w better on these guys. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I just said. <laughs> Thanks, game. Um, man, there's a. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like I've thrived any chess in the area because there's no item icon for it, so I'll go, I'll go follow the map. Excuse me. I love when enemies spawn doing the same exact animation at the same time. That's PSP for you. 
It's like they didn't they didn't technically rebuild this game from the ground up. They just skinned it really well. <laughs> Take it out. Taking you down a bit. Honestly, though, if you play the original Crisis Core, and you still can pretty easily if you have the PSP emulator, um, the the emulator does a great job upscaling everything, you know, minus the pre-rendered cutscenes, and, like, it looks great. Honestly, like, even if we just got, like, not even, you know, what whatever the fuck, like, this super glow-up is where, um, you know, it looks like it's building, like, brand new everything. Um, but, uh, you know, if we just got a, the original Crisis Core with, like, a bumped-up resolution, I feel like it would have worked really well, you know, or at least, like, it would have, um, it would have worked just fine as a remaster, you know, like, a basic remaster. Like, well, this is a similar thing that they did with, like, Final Fantasy X and, like, twelve. you know what I'm saying? Um, but no, this got a whole new coat of paint and everything. They, they wanted, they wanted this game to match, um, kind of the, uh, the graphical style of uh, a remake, which is fine with me for the sake of consistency. Um, and again, it does, uh, the production value is just way better. Um, you know, on the Switch, it's a little rough. But uh, yeah, no, the original uh, PSP version on emulator scales up really nice. It looks really good. Uh, so I still think it's a, you know, a cheap way to play this if you want. <laughs> if you want to save money, I do recommend the em emulator. Um, let's see. Okay, I think we're good there. Can I fuse anything? Should I fuse anything? Okay, I have a Cura that I'm not using. Let's see if I can... <gasps> Ooh, I can get Curaga now. Ooh, hold on, do I have a... Wow, I have a bunch of these I haven't touched yet. Okay, wow, okay. I should really fuck around with my things. Um. Okay, I will give myself the Curaga and I will buy... I'm not even using this right now, let's be real. Okay. I can do a Remedy? Okay, it doesn't do anything. Fuck it, all right. Yes. Is it re regen? Regain? I always say regen. But I know that's not how it's spelled. But you know what I'm saying? Like regenerate, you know? Regen. That's a lot of magics I just don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> What's the right word? Uh let's see. See, I like my jump. My jump's doing well. Okay, Kiraga, and then I will replace this with critical hits with every strike. That's sexy. Okay. And Shenra Belt. Okay, I think I'm good with that. Let's see what else I can fuse, though. We got a blizzard. Oh, we have a blizzard. Okay, hold on. Can I do Blizzaga? Oh, we go oh, Dark Blizzard. Okay, actually, oh, let me try to spell. Hold on. See, that's the one issue, though, with, like, when it comes to the whole Crisis Core loadout, is that you are really limited on the amount of shit that you can use at once, and there's some really fun abilities. Um, let's see. Yeah, actually, I'll use this. I'll have the Dispel for now, because I feel like that'll come in handy. Or the Bar- Mmm, should I do Barrier? Okay, I don't know. Out of all these three, um, eventually, I think if I fuse these, I can get wall. Hold on. Unless they have to be leveled up a little bit. I think that- oh god, let's check. <laughs> Me desperately trying to remember these things. Okay, I'm pretty sure barrier and- nope. Okay, I think I do have to level them up. Yeah, you can eventually fuse wall, and that's both, so I'll do that. Um, I'm actually probably gonna need the barrier for Sephiroth as well, because he hit like a truck with that sharp sword of his. All right, nice little beer. You're good to go. Um, Twilight, thank you for the 35 months. Welcome back. But I'm with the uh, 29. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Saying woo, 29 months being subscribed, my favorite content creator. What a year it's been. Am I right, Ty? Thank you for the amazing streams. Continue to stand for what's right and bringing a smile to my face while doing it. Here's a 22. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm always so sweet. Thank you for the 29. Keeping it going and rolling. Um, thank you for the kind words as well. Also, Ghostfire, thank you for the 25 saying hello, brother. Mother. Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I've been visited by the Wanderer. Oh my god. <gasps> Me? Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> welcome in. 
Um, I want I want Square to put the OG Crisis Core on PS Plus at least. Come on, Square, keep it accessible in some official way, please. Yeah, I agree. Like, I I do think like as Reunion goes, it's a it's a decent replacement, you know. But the original still got its charm too. Again, really those original performances. Um, some people might prefer the PS2 look, you know, or again, I say the PS2 look because it's like the PSP was pretty good at emulating it. Um, or I guess you know the old the old school look if you will. All right, let's do a few more missions. Um, let's, let's level up my barrier and see if I can make some shit. All right, before we go in, guys. Monsters of Midgar. <gasps> oh, Phoenix now, I'm sure. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. Okay. Not many ways to go, huh? There should be... Activating combat say, there should be a test here. I don't think there is. Uh, Blizzard Blade. Like that. Bird. Smack. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Yeah, at least they didn't go $70 on the... Yeah, it's like... What was it? 50 I got it for 50 um, you know, still still chunky, but you know, at least they, at least it's not a full fall price, right? Plus, it'll go on sale. Um, that's the thing. Like, I understand people's like uh, uh, frustrations with games costing so much nowadays. However, at least in Square Enix's case, their games go on sale a lot. Um, so you know, it's not like you know Nintendo or something where they're like super stingy all the time. Um, Activating combat mode. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me go the other way. I want to get the bro. Where them chests at? Okay, the other way. Activating combat mode. Oi! All right. Bye now. Got Dead. Him. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah. Activating combat mode. The material of your might be birth by sleep, but I'm guessing it's nothing. Uh. It's nothing that that well. I mean, they were made roughly around the same time, um, and I mean roughly, like you know, you know PSP, both PSP games. Um, they had a few years between them. Crisis Core came out first, um, but yeah, I do, I do wonder if there was, I don't know, talk in the office about being like, I don't know, we should try more melding systems, and Nomura was like, you know what, you're right, <laughs> we should. Or maybe they're, um, maybe if you go look in the credits, maybe they have similar combat directors. Um, or, uh, I don't know, I'd have to actually go digging for it. Um, somebody involved in the combat probably just had a thing for it. At the time, you know, someone who had familiar, um, cause I'm pretty sure Crisis Core and Birth by Sleep are made in the same engine. Um, and, uh, that probably means they were sharing similar development teams and, uh, I guarantee you that was probably brought up. I gotta go searching for those credits, though. Gotta figure this out for sure. I don't think it's any coincidence, you know. PSP game, Square Enix, um, <laughs> similar engines, that kind of thing. Bye now. Take that. Got him. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Birth by Sleep remake when? Oh my god. <laughs> I still love Birth by Sleep. God damn, that game is fun. I'm so happy the collections exist. Honestly. Um. You know, the, 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 the Kingdom Hearts collections are easily, like, a key reasons why the Kingdom Hearts fandom is so alive and well today. Because I cannot imagine a world where there weren't collections and people still had to go back and play all those old systems. It's like the fandom would not be nearly as strong or wouldn't be pulling in as many new people. Um, but the accessibility of them has, has really kept the momentum up and also has made it really easy for new people to become fans. Um, you know, because like, oh, how do I get into Kingdom Hearts? It's like, well, you just have to buy this one thing. And you're like, oh. you're like wow, that's all. That's a lot of games. And it's just like, yeah, they're not that long. Have fun. And then people get through them and they're like, wow, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan now. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this other chest is. Maybe I missed that. I don't care. This is a small mission. I'm here for the points. Taking you down a bay. Got him. Heads up. Would you like a new Birth by Sleep oh, style yeah. Kingdom Hearts game? Well, like the meld m mechanic and stuff? Yeah, I don't see why not. I liked it. I think probably really, like, no one had really an issue with, like, the combat system, quote unquote, with Birth by Sleep. I think people really had the biggest issue with the fluidity of the system, or, like the movement. 
Um, and I can totally understand that, but I love the variety of attacks and how you can build your commands. Um, you know, and there's, uh, yeah, and I also like the three protagonist approach, though. Truly, I, I think Birth by Sleep as a PSP game is really impressive. So, um, yeah, I think, like, because, you know, when everyone's like, ah, the floatiness, it's like, they are, they're always talking about the weight and the fluidity of the movement, but no one ever really talks about, like, ah, the melding system itself is shitty. It's always, like, about the animation, right? Um, and I like it. I, li I like being able to throw something into a pot, not sure what I'm going to get out of it, right? Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, do another Hojo's Laboratory Seeker's Pressure. Let's do the Materia Hunter. Escape from Hojo's Lab, great. <laughs> Just got here. Oh my god, 4% done on the missions, holy crap. Can't wait for to play Monopoly with my Keyblade friends and Gory's Modern Graphic. Oh yeah, I would love for the, um... Oh wow, they... Sorry, seeing this environment again, but like really build it up is really cute, wow. I hope we can run around areas like this in Rebirth. That's going to be really exciting. Um, yeah, I hope that Kingdom Hearts brings back um, the command board. That would be fun. That was really... I love the command board. It's such a cute little game. Um, sometimes I'd boot it up just to play that. I was thinking, though, last night of, like, what would Rebirth... What is Rebirth going to look like? And we still don't know... Um, the extent of how open rebirth is going to be like we're not sure if they're going for like true open world or or not you know um and how how they're going to go about like the overworld aspect of king uh, of, of final fantasy 7 um all right well this turkey's dead all right well this turkey walked away out of my attack all right <laughs> Bye now. Got it. Oh, yeah. Um, I hope it's not open world. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I low key kind of hope that they do st almost stick to the original's way of doing the overworld. Um, and uh, and the reason, you know, like that type of overworld where you're basically like, you know, a little icon on a little map, and you kind of just like, you know, move around, and you have random encounters, right? Um, you know, and then you, like, go to city locations and those have detail. I kind of hope they stick with that. Um, I think that would be fine, honestly. Uh, because one, it would save a lot of time. Two, it would be in the spirit of things. And three, you could take all the effort that you would put into, like, making a quote-unquote open world and put all that detail into the areas that matter. You know, like the cities. Um, you know, and all the set pieces, right? Because, uh, like, originally maps were like that in games, um, you know, like in Final Fantasy IX and VII and a few others, um, or like Nocturne, you know, where the overworld is kind of like a representation, not really to scale, um, but you still have a sense of exploration throughout the world. Um, and I still think they could do random encounters, just have it be the standard combat system, you know? It's like you're walking around as a little icon on this map. Um... You know, a little miniature, essentially, and then you can have random encounters, but then, you know, just do your seven remake combat system. It, it seems like it would write itself. Um, I feel like people would like that. I, I, I don't know. I hope they don't overthink it in Rebirth. Um, I'm not worried about the quality of the game, but I, I do wonder how they're going to go about that. Good day, sir. You know, or are they even going to do an open world? Are we just going to be like jumping to locations? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Who knows? That's the mystery. Okay, I will do one more mission. Uh, and then we are out of here. Let's see. End of the war with Wu Tai. Um, sure. Actually, no, hold on. Let's do oh, just laboratory, because why not? Oh, I can get drain. Oh, hell yeah. My guess it'll be open world ish with big areas like Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, I don't know. Combat mode. That's because, like, you know, they have the tech. Like, obviously, we have the tech now to make a big-ass open world, but does it need that? You know? Because that's, like, things things aren't really happening in the open world in 7. You know? It's all, it's just kind of a representation to give you a sense of scale for the planet, right? Um, and all the cool shit happening is, like, in the, uh... Excuse you. Watch that. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just, like, talking too much. Then we Picos. Going in! Oh, okay. I thought it would just jump on it. Okay, I'm silly. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this had more range. Here we go. Take that. 
bringing out the big guns. I like how Remake was distinct chapters with open-ish areas. I hope they move it to that style. Yeah. Remake made a, um, you know, you can definitely tell where they padded out certain things, which makes sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, they did a good job of giving, um, openness to a pretty linear story with those areas. Um, you know, and there's a lot of optional content in Remake. They did a great job fleshing it out without making it seem like they were dragging it too much. Um, some scenes are arguably dragged on a little too long here. Some areas are, I would just say, aren't necessary. Um, I always said in Remake's case, they could shave off, like, one-third of every optional or, like, new dungeon, and it would have been just fine. Um, I do think the, the Seven Development team was kind of, like... Uh, trying to write a fine line between making their game long enough to feel like a full fleshed out RPG while also, again, not <laughs> not dragging it out too much with like unnecessary shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, and I think for the most part they did just fine. Um, you know, Seven Remake on average is about 35 hours if you kind of take your time. And I think that's kind of the perfect length for a lot of RPGs in my opinion, um, or at least a lot of action RPGs. Um, and, uh, you know, most of the stuff that they added either was in the spirit of things, pre-established lore, or, like, um, fleshing out things that easily could have been fleshed out, and they did. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, with Rebirth, though, is that... Now that they're out of Midgar, and they they have, again, access to, like, this huge open world, technically you can go anywhere, um... They did say in interviews that the they said the sequence of events in um, Rebirth might be different um, from the original because in the original again you had so much more freedom to kind of like pick and choose like when you want to initiate things. Um, but uh, I don't think they're gonna have to stretch as much or uh, work in such constrained areas now that they have one it's on a stronger system and two. You know, we have access to the quote-unquote open world. There's a lot more areas to explore. Um, you know, they don't have the country girls make do the the area as much. Um, and uh, so maybe we might not just even have, like, you know, open world chapters. It might just be, like, we might just have more freedom in general. Um, I think they might stick to the chapter system, though, for the sake of, like, replayability and kind of what they did with, like, the hard mode stuff, you know? I have no idea. It's hard to... It's exciting, though. I'm, I'm, I, we have to wait and see more, you know? Um, you booted up the birthday sleep just to play the command board, so I'm not the only one. Uh-huh, uh -huh, it's a fun game. There are segments in SMT5 where you walk around normal Tokyo and exactly that system. SMT3 and 4-esque open world, and honestly, I'm really glad they did it that way. Not only is it functional, it also allows the feel of an open world and fine homage to the tradition of the series while allowing the team to focus on more important locations. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, back in the day, it was done commonly on PlayStation or, you know, like, a, a, you know, the PS1, PS2 era of games uh, because of technical limitations. Um, so, yeah, it was, a, you know, a good, uh, a good use of, you know, giving the player a good idea of, like, the world layout, the scale of it. Um, and it's a small visual representation, you know, without <laughs> too much demand from the developers to, to put it together. So I, th I hope Rebirth sticks with it. I think that'd be great. All right, here we go. Let's, let's go with it. Um, hey, Sephiroth, what you staring at? That plant? You like them flowers? What are you looking at? <sighs> this landscape. I could swear I've seen it before. Uh oh. <gasps> Hi, Yeehaw. Tifa, you're our guide? At your service. Okay. Here we go. You gotta take a picture to remember the moment. <laughs> Come on, don't be bashful, Sephiroth. When they talk about the best guide in town, they're talking about me. Yeah, that's right. It's too dangerous. There's no way I can let you get involved in this. She'll be just fine if you protect her. <laughs> they're like, out. check it out. She's just unconscious. Or do you actually want to get eaten? Use brings wear, tear, and rust. That's why I use the blunt side. 
He be axing people with the blunt side? Ow. I like how Tifa's cosplaying Chocobo Sam. Yeah, she's she's full yeehaw right now. I wanna go too, please. No. This is a top secret facility. Non-Shinra personnel are not permitted. Mm, but keep the young lady safe. Aye aye, sexy man. Am I gonna be able to come back out and open that chest? Game, you really gonna show me that chest in a cutscene and not only open? Okay. This place is so fucking cool. Genova? Wait a second. Genova. Interesting. The door is sealed, of course. Genova? He's like, wait a second. Sephiroth, your mama. This is the cause of the malfunction. This section is broken. Zack, go seal the valve. Why did it break? Uh oh, he thinking. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where is my <laughs> dare I say? Uh oh. What is that? You average soldier members are Mako-infused humans. You're enhanced, but you're still human. But then, what are those things? Full Mako, baby! Your Mako energy levels are exponentially higher than yours. Are they... monsters? Yes. The Shinra scientist Hojo was the one who created them. <gasps> no way. Abomination spawned by Mako energy. That's what monsters are. You said average member. What about you? He's like, shit. Shit! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no! <laughs> hey, hey, Sephiroth. Could, could it be that I was created the same way? <gasps> Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Am I the same as these monsters? Great, Zack. Now you put the idea in his head. Well, we're all dead. <laughs> Jesus, God. Um... <laughs> Am I mostly curious how they're going to handle progression between games? Will you level stats, equipment, and stuff be carried over between games? Or will each game start you off in the beginning? Well, I talked with Clemps about this, of like how they're going to hard reset like everyone's power level, essentially, in Rebirth. Um, and Clemps speculated that, uh, you know, because like Yuffie and Vincent are not going to be optional like they were in the original. They're just going to be a part of the main story because, you know, they add so much. Um, Clems believes that it's actually going to be Yuffie you're going to come across, like, you know, early in the game or, like, immediately in the game. She's going to steal all of your materia and then hard reset it. You know what I'm saying? So, she, yeah, that might be it. And Yuffie might do some, like, you know, some kung fu shit to, like, pinch your nerves and then everyone's health just resets. I think it'd be a fun way to go about it. They got to do something like that. They might, or they just might completely ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, that's a way to do it, to just, like, you know, again, video game logic. It's like, new adventure, hard reset, you know? Uh... <clears throat> Z 
Zach, you can't just ask people if they're Genova. It's rude. I knew ever since I was a child. I was not like the others. Mm -hmm. I knew mine was a special existence. But this, this was not what I meant. Am I a human being? You're a clown, no Sephiroth. Luck. You are a monster. Oh, hey, Genesis, here to make it worse. Sephiroth. Is he, you know, this monster created by the Genova Project? Genesis. So you are alive. He's here to monologue. Let the man I talk. I am, if you can call this living. What is the Genova Project? The Genova Project was Sephiroth the is literally I'm not like other girls gone wrong. Uh huh. Relating to the use of Genova's cells. My mother's cells? Poor little Sephiroth. You've never actually met your mother. Poor little Sephiroth. You've only been told her name, no? I don't know what images you've conjured up in your head, but. Genesis! No! Genova was excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. She's an alien parasite, baby! She's a monster. Sephiroth. I Why is his coat degrading too? I I pointed that out. Like he's he's degrading so hard, his he's degrade. losing the dye out of his coat. Or he has the worst case of Soldier dandruff and it's all goop. Class, Sephiroth. That's him. Genova Project G gave birth to Angeal and monsters like myself. Genova Project S. S? used the remains of countless failed experiments to create a perfect monster. What do you want of me? Your traits cannot be copied onto others. Your genes can't be diffused. Therefore, your body cannot degrade. Share your cells. His drip me. is fading, Bones. Give me your cells. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Have an apple. <laughs> that quickly while he's monologuing. <laughs> Isn't his real mother in a cave or something? Yeah, Lucrezia is his birth mother, but Genova, he was infused with Genova cells. Our lies um, deceive me. Or at least Lucrezia was infused with Genova cells With and he was carried to term with them. So that I have sought all my life. It makes no difference. Oh! The shade! You will rot. Oh! Raw. So raw. I see. Perfect monster indeed. My God. When the war of the beasts brings about the world's end, the goddess descends from the sky. We're emo hours now. Yep, here we go. Ends the spiral begins. Dark spread of also, fog. hello, Lenny. She guides us to bliss. Her gift everlasting. <laughs> That's not very Christian of you, Genesis. No! Mm -hmm. Stop! Shall, sell, share your cells with Major Dispar Propose to him in sexual intercourse? It's like, hey, baby, give me those cells. Give me that specimen. Help, you know? It's time to yippee Kaye out of here. Activating combat mode. Bet. 
Here we go. Ooh. All right. You oh, we've already seen this one. I'll handle things here. And he just goes for it. It's just so funny. <laughs> Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's the unchecked god punk complex. <laughs> I like how Sephiroth's like, Mama, what do you want me to do about any of this? Like, are you serious? Are you... Sephiroth really said a ge look at Genesis and said, Girl, be fucking for real. Like... Kinda hurt. Heads up. Ah! Can I get some juice? Can a girl can a girl get some fucking juice around here, baby? Here we go. This is gonna sting. Okay, I guess I have to use uh, the magic because he's got the barrier on him. Oh, I should have put Dispel on. I need to get that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Sephiroth was a funny bitch before he went nuts. <laughs> he tried to protect me. Oh. Tifa, stay close to me. I can't remember. I don't think um, Tifa knows it's Cloud because he put his helmet on. Um, I think she finds that out later. Because, like, you know, Tifa and Cloud were childhood friends. Bye now. And shish kebab out of the sky. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's hit the save. Yeah, she doesn't know. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is Tifa a cowgirl? It's because she's a she's a tour guide for the area. And, you know, she lives in a yeehaw town. Oh, man. I wish I had my speed up button for the emulator right now. That would have been That would have been nice. I think we just have to beat them there. Or at least, like, you know, clear the path. Also, hey guys, we're at Buster Sword Proficiency 1%. We're going up in the world. I don't need to wait for that, so I thought it's like I just gotta get to the end. See, they, see, they fast. They're they doing fine. And the emulator version and the speed of buttons on the trigger, so you can kind of just like fast forward Activity through everything, which is nice. Mode. Oh, hey, boys. Nice popping right there. They brought the textures with them. Got him. Punisher mode. Boom. Bro. Yeah, I should put this spell on. Hmm. <laughs> I just shot it right through his heart. Holy crap, that hurt. Wow. All right. Uh, equipment. Yeah, let's put the spell on. This this will help us tremendously. This is gravity. Man, we're getting some items here. Okay. Uh, where'd my dispel go? There it is. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Activating combat mode. Cowgirl phase is just horse girl phase, but more southern. Yeah, what was y'all? Yeah, well, horse phase. I was a dragon girl. Um, you have like horse phase, dragon girl, or mermaid. Later. Up. Gosh. Gosh. Take that. Boom. Complete resolve. Oh yeah. Am I losing frames? It looks like I don't know on your guys' end. It's a lot smoother on mine. 
Mm. Wolf girl, that counts. I'm still in my mermaid face. <laughs> Yeah. And they're like, wow! Look at all that Mako! Okay, let me grab these. Before, before. A potion! Activating combat oh, mode. Crap. Like, I gotta check the map. Where's everybody at? How the hell we get out of here? Oh, combat yeah! Alright, um, ba 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 ba. Why? There we go. Ew. Okay, I'm pretty sure I get access back here later anyway, so unless... Hold on. Fuck it. I'll just go check now. Might as well. I'm here. Activating combat mode. What's up, boys? Oh, nice barriers! Get rid of those! Ugly! 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 Ah, wrong person. Ugly! Take that. Taking you down a bone, no you don't! Ooh, oh, this is gonna hurt! It's about time you use that sword of yours. This sword is heavy. Oh, assault rush? They don't know. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Oh, yeah. Sick. And there it is, chef. Oh, come on. Just give it to me. I'm right here. I deserve a treat. Here we go. This thing's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Holy shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like that. I don't like any of that. Oh, don't do hellfire against these guys. No, that's not gonna help me. Oh, that was close. Oh my god. <laughs> Somehow out of range for that. If that would have hit me, holy shit. All right, elixir and HP stone. Okay, I'll take it. Activating combat mode. Let's go find those crazy kids now. Let's go find that yeehaw girl. Yeah. Summon attacks are non elemental, even if it was Hellfire, are you sure? Out of the way. Because, like, Mega Flare, I can understand, but Hellfire seems pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Activating combat mode. Always not elemental this time? I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know. I'm hearing two different things now. That eh, doesn't matter. It, it blew up anyway. Bye now. Oh, Activating combat mode. God damn, boys. Please leave me alone. Yeah, sure. We just gave you a little, little, little heart attack, little, little zappity zap. Oh Combat yeah. Resolved. All right, cool. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, I'll, um, I got you. I'll, I'll crept a path up ahead. All right. You get Cloud's fat ass back in bed. Conflict resolved. Bada bing. Oh yeah. I'm so happy they added like a run button. <laughs> so nice. Activating so many good features.
Bum 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 bum. I'm just. <laughs> you got this, girl. Oh, it's because she got heel boots on. Oh my god. How's she not sinking in that sand? Sephiroth, where did you go? <sighs> what happened? <sighs> well, we got Sorry, we got attacked by a say. theater kid. Um, who so. asked to have sex with us, and, and then we said no, and you know, the next thing. I'll ask the townspeople about Sephiroth. It's just soldier stuff, Tifa, you wouldn't understand. Okay. Thank you, Tifa. And I'm dumb the bucket of water on Cloud, and I'm gonna wake up. How would you rate Zack on a thickness rating? Well, based off of the first shot where he's uh, doing his little training exercise, you know, he's jumping through the helicopter, he's got a fine ass. That thing is worked out. Um, I wouldn't say he's thick. He's very lean. Uh, but he's he's got the plumpness where he needs it, right? Here's the bonding moment. Aww. Tifa's safe. Don't worry. If only I were a soldier. Here we go, insecure cloud coming Zach. through. Soldier is like a den of monsters. Don't go inside. <gasps> but that's his life dream. Zach, how could you say that? What happened? I don't know, man. I thought I knew, but... Ah... By the way, do you know Tifa? Sort of. Talk to her? No. Fellas, is it gay to warn your friend against I'm military propaganda? <laughs> Shouldn't you do something? Zach's puppy instincts is kicking in. <laughs> I'm one to talk. I'm with soldiers, so fighting's all I do. Sorting things out is someone else's job. What's going on? Who's the enemy? Yeah, thinking somebody it else's makes job. makes no difference to me. <laughs> He's a lapdog, you know? Sick him, boy. He's like, Zack is hard because he's like, there's how, how can I keep honor in these circumstances? I really like that sword. It's impressive. Thanks, it's huge and it's heavy as hell. Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Embrace your dreams and, whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. I like that sword. Thanks, that's material pockets. <laughs> that sword will be yours one day. He's like, I like that sword. Can I steal it from you? <laughs> this is a symbol of my dreams and honor. I really love the new Cloud actor for remake here. He does a good job making him sound. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think new Cloud is great. Um it's more. He does a great job in remake That's as well. Right. I had almost forgotten. I think I think new Zack's doing pretty well in this scene uh, right here too. Huh? Right. All right, yeah, squat time. I'm going to crash. Night. He's like, bitch, it's nap time. Yeah, news that grows on you as the game goes on. Yeah, it's been really hit or miss so far. Mostly misses, but like every now and then he'll, you know, it does. I, it's really just the delivery, honestly. Like the tone of the voice is definitely different. That's, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, uh, I guess there's no debate about that, but it's really the delivery, I think, is the, the thing that um, kills a lot of the the scenes with him, you know? It's like they, it's they chose the stiffest, thing. most rigid delivery so possible eerie. for whatever reason. The eerie picture of it. This bitch staring at me. Check it out. Now it's outside. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, how you doing, Cloud? What's bopping? I'll rest a little more. He's, he's got... He, once again, Cloud got that sleepy bitch disease. I have one from... Oh, Tifa? My email. Is that guy all right? I'm a little worried because I look like he got hurt pretty bad. I'm glad you're there, though. Um, thank you, Zach. I heard a, a soldier and how tough they are. I hope you can talk a little bit more about soldier one of these days because there's something I want to ask you. Hmm. Do you want to come over to my house? I want you to try my mom's cooking. The thing is, I haven't been home since I've been here. I haven't been able to make up my mind about it. But I decided that I should show my face. <gasps> yes! It's Cloud Mama time! Uh, Sephiroth is at Shinra Manor. Are you talking about that big mansion? Uh, yes. Shinra Did Cloud just ask? He, he did. He's like, hey, can you meet my mom? And I'm like, oh my god, yeah. Let's let's have that, let's get that casserole going. Head Shinra Manor, look for Sephiroth. Um, how about I go see Cloud's mom first and be like, what's cooking good looking? Yeah, on cloud. Aww. Damn it, guys! Hello. Oh, Aerith, I'm bu I'm busy with my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, the re the reception out here sucks. Hi, Bobby. Uh, listen. Now's not the best time. I'll call you later. No, no. You don't have to. Okay. I'll come visit. I'll be here. I'll see you. I promise. My trainer forgot we did a session tonight. Oh my god. I'm happy to have you, Bubba. I'm, I'm Fishing Rules number one fan. Aerith, I'll be back soon. Okay, that's great and all, but where's where is fucking Cloud's mom? Hello, child! You guys came to investigate this town, right? There's a lot of strange things you can find in this town. We like to call them the town's seven wonders. If you're interested, look into it. Are they actually wonders? Or are they hoaxes? Ain't this a plot in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Hold on. Wonder is, lately, the town's drinking water has sometimes been coming- When did we suddenly show up in Twilight Town? Hello? What? Oh shit, Mayo, thank you so much for gifting a sub to, to, to Anya. Thank you. Aww. Ooh, scary. That can't Why does be it right. sound like Morgana? Oh, I think it is. If you learn the truth about this wonder, please tell me. Gotcha. Okay, that's the inn. This is the general store. To get to Shinra Manor. Go up the stairs. Where's your mom? You, you said you... No, Cloud! Is this her? We welcome the Shinra army. The outskirts? Hold on. We gotta get to the bottom of this. Oh, brother. Oh, yeah. Okay, an ether? Cool. Hey! There's a fork in the mountain trail, and one path leads to a dead end where a strange bomb appeared. <laughs> Girl, I just want to find Cloud's mom. Be fucking for reals. Okay. Uh. Activating combat mode. I don't know if I'll do the wonders thing. I have a save increment here. Um. But I kind of, I kind of want to get my, I kind of want to get him moving, guys. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to see Sephiroth go, go, go bonkers. Anyone know some good Zack X Cloud fanfics? Yeah, seriously. There he is, Shinra Manor. Activating combat mode. 
The first one is worth it very fast. Where is it? Please, please. Th now is the time to backseat, fellas. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll do it fast. If it's fast, I'll do it. Water tower? Bet. Just look at it. Okay, this ain't oh, 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 the water tower back in the center. Okay, I see. That was this one over here. I'm being silly. <laughs> That's not a water tower. That's just a building. All right, here we go. All right, we're getting some uh, some stats up anyway, because again, the, the Sephiroth fight can be uh, it's not super hard, but it can be <laughs> if you get unlucky. So it's 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 kind of time based almost. What was that frame? Is my frame rate fucking up? It shouldn't be. Cause like I'm not noticing frame st uh, uh, stutters, but I think you guys are, which is which is odd. Mm, hold on, let me check my uh, see how much stuff's running in the background right now. One second. Might be a playback issue. Uh, just check the water tower and get it. Whoa, whoa! Roses are red. Spaceships will hover. Sephiroth said, get out of my way, I must see my mother. <laughs> I'm going to see mother. Damon, thank you so much for that 50! Oh man, for the- I say, end in 2022 off with- some shmoney with that top bun action. Thank you so much for that. Again, you're always so. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> some, uh, so, so, some real. So, wow, wow. Again, thank you so much for that, Jamon. Appreciate it. Always love me a, a good Sephiroth pun as well. Uh, can I get some? Can I get some emote spam in chat for that? For that? Uh, for that top bun action. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Always good to see you again. <laughs> Felt like just yesterday, huh? Um. <laughs> There's a red materia here. Did the color seep out of it? What kind of soap? Oh, a phoenix materia. Oh, sick. Okay, I see. Yeah, that is kind of worth it. Why do you choose to play this on the Nintendo Switch? Because I like the portability of it. Because I want to be able to play it on the plane. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Hello, child. I got one. Huh? Damon, seriously, thank you so much for that. Very, um... Oh, yeah. Aww, that's not very exciting. It was a materia. This next wonder has to be real. I'm getting goosebumps all over just thinking about it. Before I tell you. Seeing the painting on the second floor of the inn. Okay, that makes so the second wonder is that girl sometimes leaves the painting and wanders around in our world. Ooh, scary! Oh, way too scary! I mean, the original was on a portable console, so exactly! That's why! I, I wanted to get it on Switch. I wanted to expedite. Yes, I played the original on a handheld. I wanted to do this one on a handheld. Also, again, portability. I want to be able to play the new reunion on a plane. I just got home from vacation and playing this on PS5. HD Zack makes me feel some type of way. I've heard it looks really sexy on those, yeah. Also, I got, I'm happy you got home safe. Safe travels, all that, being on the road. <clears throat> uh, all right, so the girl walks around somewhere. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe, maybe it's like a kid in the house, you know? We'll triple check. Gotta get to the bottom of this one. OMG Gungaga? Gungaga, RJ. Have you Good seen day, a small sir. child? Have you seen this child? Hmm, ah, fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the mansion. I wanna see Sephiroth read. That man is gonna learn.
One problem I have discovered from having multiple consoles deciding which one to get a game on, and now for portability, I have to debate between the Switch and a Steam Deck. Oh, damn, you got a Steam Deck? I still haven't gotten one. I want to get one. If I had a Steam Deck, I would have gotten this game on Steam Deck, but I don't have one. I've been trying to, trying to be more, um, uh, fiscally responsible, and I haven't had a need for one just yet. Activating combat mode. I had to choose between, like, getting a new work laptop and a Steam Deck, and I had to... I chose wisely, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm sure everything will turn out good. Yeah, everything's fine. We're doing great out here. Nothing is gonna go wrong. Not a single thing. Oh, uh, what do you want, bro? Oh my god. I forgot. Honestly, I used to think, like, they're, you know, him messaging all the time was kind of cute, and I'm getting freaked out. Working hard on your assignment, I assume. I guess uh, it was no, uh, it was longer than we thought it would be. I thought I'd look after Arif while you were gone, but the Turks are already guiding her. I don't know why. Anyway, she seems, uh, she sees the tires came off her flower wagon, and now the things did. No! <laughs> Damn it, she was running down too many hills. That's what happens. I offered to fix it for you, but she refused. She's waiting for you to come back and fix it, so hurry up and get back here already. Wow. Not the flowers. I just have to keep some wheels on. No, oh, God. Oh, hold on. Whoops. Combat mode. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Conflict resolved. Sexy. Yeah. All right. Who else? Uh. I can fight too. Sephiroth, I don't get him at all. Is everyone in Soldier like him? Oh, and uh, there are any... Uh, bl are there any blonde guys in Soldier? She's talking about Cloud because she wants to ask if Cloud's in Soldier yet. Well, it's just a dream. Any, uh, any girl would love to have a blonde Soldier guy protect her when she's in a pinch. Well, it's no good just waiting for my blonde knight in shining armor to show up. So I've started learning how to fight myself. My teacher tells me I've got a knack for it. Any blonde guys in Soldier, by the way? Really love me some blonde guys. Preferably the twink size, if you know what I'm saying. This is so funny. I forgot how funny some of these messages are. Um, I was thinking about telling you once you were in a hometown, it's a little embarrassing, so I wanted to do it with it. The day, okay. The day you changed your hair when you wished us rookies good luck before our uh, shorty, I never forgot your words. Remembering what you said the day gives me the courage to stay strong. So thank you, Zach. Oh. I got ice. Like I was saying, Cloud really admires Zach. Cloud wants to be Zach. You know, it's like he's his inspiration. He's his role model. Um... You know, so his brain gets all mushed up and he, you know, com uh, confuses himself for Zack because that's who he wants to be, you know? Um, got business in another case. Okay, yes, me. By the way, I couldn't help but notice uh, that you were reading Loveless while you were... All right, that was Genesis' favorite work, wasn't it? So have you finished it yet? I bet you got bored out of the middle and just tossed it anyway. But there's a strange production of Love... Uh, or there's a stage production of Loveless now playing in Midgar. So uh, let's go see it when you get back. Who knows? I might just give you the hint you're looking for. Let's say, you want to be a theater kid? Did you go to the sector early in the game and talk to the fangirls? Yeah, she's like, no, I haven't. I can't remember. Like, at least not like from previous playthroughs, but I didn't do it in this one. How long before seven does Crisis Core take place? Like, like seven, like six, seven years or something like that. Because like before the time skip, it's like roughly a year. Then it's four years in the time skip. That's five, and then um, you know, there's about a year between. The ending of this game and, and, and the original uh, seven. So, yeah, it's like, it's like seven years or something like that. The Shinner men are so cool here. Also, you can come across Vincent now. These things are so fucking creepy. Like, the, the Shinner Manor gives off the vibes, awful. Gross here, it's stinky. 
It's where the Vincent's like laying around here somewhere, and uh, if, if I remember, you can come across him. You literally can open up his casket, and you're like, "Up, oh, someone's sleeping," and you close it back up. In fact, I'll find him for us so I can show it. So much egg. Sephiroth is in the second floor room, on the right. Thanks, Cloud. Okay, this is the, that's the left. Okay, well this is the left, and he's on the right. I'm gonna check out the left first. It's locked. Pretty sure there's another soldier uniform in here. Or eventually, eventually we give it to Cloud. It's like, oh, Cloud, your your clothes are soaked in mako. We should probably get you out of that. Oh, that's right, the safe. Does anyone know the save code? Hold on. I'm pretty sure it changes each time. I think it's random, so there's no consistency for it. Hold on. Uh, crisis. Or save code. Four thousand twelve. <laughs> it is random. Peeking through the door is the key. Oh, okay. Yeah, damn. I thought it was randomized. Oh, man. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I got it. So, digit one is in the upstairs. Digit two. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I, I wanna get that shit. Get that safe. That'd be nice. Okay. All right, peaky peaky. Digit one is... Where am I gonna find the digits? Hold on. Basically, you need to explore the manor and count certain elements within. Oh, okay. First clue is we found the upper. Count the number of books that aren't slotted on the shelf. Okay, fellas, we got this. Oh shit, for real? Yeah, baby, we're gonna do it. All right, we got one. And I see another one on that table. Okay, yeah, we got one. Okay, we okay, we got two. I think it's just two. Unless the, yeah, I don't think it's those. It's gotta be the ones that like, look like, okay, two. All right, so we got two. I see three of them, where do you see three? Like the books on the top shelf? Because, like, I would count those, but they look like part of, like, the the model. You know what I'm saying? Unless, I don't know if those technically count. Hold on. Let's see here. Count the number of books that aren't slotted in on the shelves, and that will be your first clue. This includes books on the floor, on top of other furniture, such as chairs, even on top of the bookshelf itself. Oh, okay, so that does count. That does count them. All right, so we have four. Okay, so I think it's six. It's either six or two. So let me put that in. Two slash six. Thanks. All right. Uh, and then uh, digit two is downstairs. Isn't this nice having? Oh, damn it! I accept. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. I forgot. That's one of the buttons. <laughs> I have my face hotkey to numbers. Um, <laughs> whoops, a daisy. Wow, those numbers are sure frightening. Okay, uh, and then this one is... This has to be, like, the amount of the guys. Count the monsters in this room. Okay, noted. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five! There we go, hiding. Just triple checking. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, they really want you to look around here. Okay. I think I should write these down. Like, right, right. Okay, so five. Hope you guys are keeping track of this. Um, <laughs> help me out. Uh, and then 
want the number of uh, both cans and apples. Okay. Cans and apples. I don't see any. Is it zero? Hmm. I don't see anything. Maybe it's zero. Because it is random each time, isn't it? Okay. I'm gonna- I'm- I'm, I'm putting my- my money on zero. That's a number. <laughs> Apples are upstairs, is it? Oh, this is digit four, my bad. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was digit three. Uh, number of chairs you find in the room, gotcha. All right, let's look back in. All right, one, let's see, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Okay, so five. Uh, and then last one is upstairs. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna crack that code yet, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Either two or six, or then five, five again. Yeah. Pretty sure it's this room. I gotta peek in. Yes, look through home. Okay. Apples and cans. Cans and apples. They said watch out for the perfume bottles is that they can be mistaken for apples. All right. One. Uh, okay, there we go. They said, all right, there's one, two, three apples and then two cans. Oh, more, ooh, ooh, more cans. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, I think it's eight. Triple check that. Like other I've been the same code. Yeah, seriously. All right. Yeah. So we got one. And then we got we got three apples there. So that's four. And then we have four cans. So eight. Okay. Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this six five five eight first. Six five five eight. Damn it! All right, then okay, let's do two five five eight. What? Oh, six, five, eight, five. Oh, sorry, I got the numbers mixed up. I keep forgetting digit five is, uh, I, I got digits three and four mixed up. Um, okay, let's try six, five, eight, five. Why not? Please, God, please. There we go! All right! Thank you. Oopsie, I got those digits mixed up. Oh, brother! Okay, well, never mind. That was a mistake opening. We're gonna get thousand needled. Vital Slash, thanks. I already had one of those, didn't I? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, did I do all that shit? Just for an attack- just for an ability I already had. I did! Oh, f I'm an idiot. Well, that was worth it, guys. That, well, this is what we learn. Alright. Thank God we just looked it up on a guide. He's free. I guess we- I guess we saved somebody today. Surprise Cactar coming in. Okay, anyway. Well, finally I'm, I am. I always actually ignore that, so I'm kind of glad I did it because I've never really taken the time to do it. Hey, Cloud! The passage door was unlocked. Maybe Sephiroth went underground? This this room dingy as fuck. This whole place dingy as hell. It's dusty in here. Dusty. All right, evil secret passage. What could go wrong? Also, hello, Japanime. How you doing? Chat for the rescue. Yeah, seriously, thank you, chat. Thank you for keeping track. Or at least noticing I was on the wrong digit. <laughs> I 
lightning. Sparky spark spark. Bada bing bada boom. Ooh, coffee key. Sick. All right, we're gonna we're gonna open up. We're gonna say, "Hey, Vincent. Hello, Vincent Valentine. Big fan. Not gonna follow the markers just yet. I'm gonna get what I can before we get activating do combat mode. out of the way. Out oh, one. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got the numbers right. Yeah, that was good. We really spent too much time on it. I can imagine how frustrating it is, like, I'm not really sure how someone was supposed to know the or the proper order of the numbers um, without looking it up. I guess a lot of trial and error, but you know. Don't worry, Ty. I'm an empath, and I can tell. This place feels hostile. <laughs> My empathic vibes are kicking in. Something's not right here. <laughs> Alright, pretty sure Vincent's in this one over here. All right, wakey, wakey. It won't open. Some of these are bugs. <gasps> Who's that? He's like, holy shit! What a beautiful guy! What a beautiful man! <laughs> Damn, Vincent's a snore. Gonna snore again, bro? Fast asleep. I should probably leave him alone. Literally talking about Vincent. He's got sleepy bitch disease. Can we look? No, no look. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, beautiful prince. Sleeping beauty, literally that though. Box of chaos, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I'm playing some Crisis Core. I have beaten this game, so spoilers ahead. Watch out. Yeah, they're not gonna show us. There's just again for people who know. But yeah, Vincent Vincent is asleep in here. I think it's so funny. Cause like, you know, this is where you come across him in the original. Um, and I just think it's so funny that Zach does it. <laughs> First he sees him, he's like, Oh, okay. Didn't mean to interrupt that nap time. Yeah, most of these are beetles. Activating combat mode. Cool. Take that. Conflict oh, resolved. Yeah. They're really keeping us from seeing him until Rebirth, uh-huh. Well, I mean, this was in the original, too, and they didn't show him then. Um, but yeah, oh my god. S Vincent Valentine Rebirth? Ha. Huh. Cultural reset. Guys, I'm gonna be so ecstatic. You're gonna see a whole new side of me. Oh, yeah. Combat resolved. Activating combat mode. Hey, just got uh, lane to P4 oh, Goldman. So I like stopping by. Well, thank you so much for the ring. Hope you'll enjoy your P4 uh, G. Whenever he eventually shows up, I'm going to go feral. Yeah, you and everybody else. It's just like, <gasps> Vincent Valentine. Like, seriously. It won't open. Bugs. I'm just doing this for Fonzies at this mode. point. Bring it on. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to hear his voice. I am interested to hear, obviously, his recast, you know. Actually, I think they'll do it just right. I was talking about this before, but, like, all they really need to get for Vincent is just someone with a real low gravitas voice. Because, like, you know, delivery-wise, Vincent is very monotone as a person. Um, understandably, he's literally dead. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they just, they just need something with a lot of, um, like, lower than Sephiroth, you know? There is no going back beyond this point. This is like, alright, shit's about to go down here. Are you ready? Enter the facility. I'm ready, Freddy. Let's go. I'm glad they added these little warnings. These were not in the original where you never really knew what the point of no return was. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova, I see. M E G L 771977. Genova verified as an ancient. 
M E G L 913 1977 Genova project approved Mako reactor That was quite the transition who opened the door Zach just looking at him Okay here we go The Sephiroth reading Genova. hour The Genova project is a coincidence Professor Gast Why didn't you tell me Why did you die Wamp wamp Ah, cheer up, Buttercup. It ain't so bad. You have gorgeous hair. You're Sephiroth, the hero. Everyone wants to be you. Leave me be. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, he's moping, guys. All right, this this is yeah. This is the face of somebody who's about to snap. It's fine. Seffy, just stop being sad. It's that easy. I'll here, I'll go get your favorite conditioner. We can go get your nails done. Existential Crisis Corp. <laughs> a core in the crisis, if you will. Or a crisis in the core. Uh, this bitch reading, he's sad. Yeah, he, like, this is the face of a. Talk to the boy, please. Leave me be. Well, guess we gotta respect his wishes. Don't do anything crazy while we're gone, all right? No parties. Okay, don't play with any fire. Promise? Okay, love you. On the plus side, your hair is amazing. From that day. Sephiroth shut himself inside Shinra Manor. And continued to review documents. The question about Seven Wars, didn't Hojo kill Gas or am I switching plots? I think he might have, yeah. I can't remember. Because, like, you know, it wouldn't be beyond Hojo to kill somebody to, like, you know, get a promotion. Never went out <laughs> once. It's the reading montage. They say knowledge is power, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Damn it, Sephiroth! I asked one thing! Oh, man. Are we gonna get our deposit back? Damn it, Sephiroth! Crap! Oh, my God. This is the worst kind of nap. You wake up and it's all hot and sweaty out. <laughs> oh, he's I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay into him real thick, okay? Fire ring, okay. Oh, fire elemental attacks, that's cool. I like fire on my weapon. Actually, no, these are kind of a recipe for disaster, because like you don't want to come across something that. Stop ward, silence ward. All right. Sorry, I'm getting prepped. It's gonna get real. Um, what don't I need? I'm not going to. I'm not gonna need the fire. Um, I'm actually gonna use that as a barrier. Cause we're gonna need it. Let's do the barrier. Okay, I gotta be careful with using some of these. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, hey, Sephiroth, what's up? Are you gonna do that dramatic slow thing in the flames, or you're just... Oh. Yes. I'm coming for you. <gasps> hey, wait a second. This looks familiar. Sephiroth, are you a bad guy? Wait a second! It's the shot, it's the shot! Are we the baddies? How could you? Sephiroth, how could you? Advent children scene, uh-huh. 
<laughs> it's like that for why does your clothes look slightly different? <laughs> We dreamed of creating the world's strongest soldier, and we succeeded. Uh-huh. But at what cost? Oh, fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He let the fucking monsters loose. Do y'all mind? Okay, I'm gonna have to prevent stop. Okay, yep, this is ridiculous. Bye now. And I got rid of fire. Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta fuck around with this shit. These guys are hard. What the fuck? This'll do. Hey. Take that. Okay, we need fire and we're gonna need this anti-stop. Okay. How about some pure fire, huh? Meteor? There we go. Damn it, juice! I just oh, I just got here. I can fix him. Okay. Uh, equipment. Let's look at. I guess we'll have the fire. Fuck it. Um. Hmm. Let's basically do the same. I'll keep my blizzard. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna go anti-stop. Cause that attack is annoying. Um, Pony Spirit plus prevents. Stop. There we go. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Ow, fellas! That fellas! Oh, that was close. Holy, holy cannoli! Jesus Christ! Can you chill? I'm just getting interrupted. Oh my god! Well, that was a bunch of shit. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Ah. Oh my god. Ruthless. Yeah, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Healing wave. Healing wave. Oh my god. Get some Aerith in here. Good luck. Thanks. I'm them being this ruthless. Oh my god. They're literally alternating between beating the shit out of me. Okay, I'm out of here. No, 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 I'm out. Bro. I should have just hit him. Oh, you got. What the fuck? I'm getting stunned to death. I'm out of here. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. I'm out. No, no, no. Uh, it's over. I'm over it. They're beating my ass with the cruel quote retweets. Fireblade fucks these guys up. Honestly, hold on. You know, instead of fire, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a few things, actually. New plan. New plan. I have fire a blade. That should do it. Okay. And I'm also going to do thunder rub. A lot better. That's better. Activating combat mode. Oh! Oh, Bubby, you did it! Thank you! Okay, hold on. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Ah! Bro. Take that. Holy, well, thank God there's only one of them here. Holy shit. And door activate? Noted. Got it. Oh, yeah. Ah, God, that hurt. What the fuck? Okay. 
Yes, if you guys haven't checked out our merch store yet, um, we are we are taking requests. By the way, when it comes to like, if you if there's a design that you like that isn't on like a shirt or a hat, um, you know, we want to get some, uh, uh, I guess, uh, you know, customer feedback. Um, and uh, you know, we have uh, moved some designs around to shirts and you know, add some hat colors. Uh, so yeah, if there's something that you feel like. You know, that already exists, a design that already exists, and you feel like it's not on something that you would personally buy, please let us know. We're, we are taking the feedback. Like Bringing out the big guns. All right. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling something. Did Step 40 losers marbles? Yes, they're all over the place right now. Nibelheim slipping all over those bitches. Oh, yeah. Activating combat mode. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay. Holy shit. God, man. Activating combat mode. Am I ready for this? I'm scared. I didn't mean to do that twice. That. Bro, I'm over it. I'm so over it. God, yeah, I might do some grinding. I'm gonna go to that save. Stop! Oh my god! You're so annoying. I hate getting stunlocked. Fuck off! Oh my god, you'll be fine. Well, I—I I mean, I don't remember this fight being too terribly difficult, but I also do want to be a little prepared. So let's go. Let's let's just do a few missions for funsy onesies. How about that? Um, let's do uh, let's do Hojo's Laboratory because those are pretty straightforward. Oh, Venom Shot. Oh, I like that one because that puts poison on like your weapon. Oh, so Drake, they put the 22 earlier. I'm so sorry, I missed that thing. Man, 22 months, 22 amazing. Turned up my favorite bun now. Turned VTuber. Love you lots. And uh, good luck on the game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, cool. I have to spell. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this will be a good test. If I can't beat this guy, I don't think I'm ready. This'll do. Come on, I feel I wish the stance button was a little different. Hmm. Hmm. Another barrier on. Oh, it's not finally, can I get some fucking juice in here? Prove your honor to me. Uh, yeah, Sephiroth, hold on a minute. Can you, like, monologue to Genova for a little while? I'm busy. Got it. All right. Hey, 420. Oh, my God. <laughs> 420 SP. Love it. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is, uh, let me see if I can get the M barrier in here. And I can probably, if I can fuse this to make a wall, I will. And that that'll help me tremendously. Uh, okay, one second. Uh, see, that's a, like six. What don't I need right now? I don't think I need. I do want the dispel. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the jump for now. Um, and I'm gonna put the mick barrier on. 
Um, there we go. The M barrier. So if I can combo these, they need to be upgraded at least a little bit before you can, like, you know, fuse them to make something stronger. Um, and I'll make a wall with that one, and that way I can have a uh, physical and magic defense at the same time. Uh, all right. This should be pretty beatable. It's the same difficulty as the last one. Draina. Okay. Hey, Ben just got here. Hope you and everyone is having chats. Have a good day so far. Doing well. It's chill vibe. Oh, not wrong button, wrong button. Okay, I'm stunned. Ow. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Get up, Zack. There we go. Okay, no. Oh, two chests. Okay. If I hug the corners, <laughs> I don't have to get into. There we go. Is this it? Is this, is this the Crisis Core secret where you just hug corners? So you can actually get into actual fights, fights? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just here for the. I'm here for the perks. Here for the fight. Oh, damn it! Okay, turn the corner too sharply. Uh. Oh, out of MP! Poop! Or no, out of SP! Oh, Soma! Give me some Soma! Uh, let's see. Arm barrier, Y barrier. Come on, die up, little chicken. There we go. Forgot which mission, but right after I did the Wonders quest, I got wall and I opened the chest and got wall. Oh no! <laughs> Too much wall. <laughs> yeah, I know there's like, there's a, there's some floating around in the chest somewhere, but I can, you know, I can meld it as well. So I'm just gonna go with what I got. Activating combat mode. Hey boys! I'm all about these blades, fellas. The spin to win never fails. Where's the other chest? Hmm. Okay, I'll go down the main hallway socket. Oh, see, there we go. Oh, oh, it's a copy of the Angeal boss. Okay. Noted. Uh, yeah, screw the chest. Out of the okay, way. I'm just going for it. I'm here for, I'm here for the, the grind anyway. Mama. Why would you do that to me, Mama? Sephiroth, you gonna you gonna bless me with some? Okay, that's the problem with the DMW. Sometimes it's like battles happen so quickly that you can never really get one half the time. <laughs> you finish it too fast. All right, how is my? Uh, S. Okay, let's get some Soma. There we go. The different elemental blade, uh, blades are the the new overpowered ability since you can technically stun lock on them. Yeah, they're super good. You know, and again, elemental damage, all that kind of thing. Um. Mm -hmm. Activating combat mode. Oh, wrong one. Mmm, barrier. Fireblade. Hey, Genesis! Okay, yeah, bet. Let's go. 
Love, love me some apocalypse. Show me the true, true power, power of, of theater kids. Find your own business. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. You mind? Ah! <gasps> Theater kids to flashback. Here we go. Genesis, we can't hear you. Beth. Show me the true power of soldier. Find your own business. Yes, yeah, so smack him. Get smack cam. Okay, the dispel leveled up. That's what we want. Sick, awesome, love that. All right, let's do magic barrier. Okay, not the spell. Magic barrier and barrier. And, uh, okay. A Mako Spring. Truly a marvel of nature. All right, looks like it's Baja so Blast, but... but... If we continue to take Mako from the ground, it'll dry up and vanish, right? When Mako energy is condensed, it becomes materia. Naturally formed... See, but that sounds like a bunch of hippie bullshit, if you ask me. By the way... Caring about the planet, that's kind of gay. Allow us to use magic. You don't know. And you call I watched some of your vids and I didn't realize Catherine Fullbody had an LGBTQ uh, cute character and I was like, <gasps> yes, surprise, surprise. Knowledge to control the power of this planet at will. Yeah, don't drink the life stream jungle binds juice. Us to the planet and calls forth magic, so they say. Magic. Such a mystery. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. You're in for it now. Octoslash level five, let's go. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Love that. that. Alright, okay, no no no, get rid of that. I just loved how Angel's turtleneck is just like really cooked in there, you know? Snuggled in. Uh, speaking of which, Angel! Nice turtleneck. Prove your honor to me. Oh, yeah. Got it! Alright! Hey! Ba -da 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 -da. Love that. Honor or something, yeah. All right. Oh, God, the texture. <laughs> All right, weapons of development, Hoda's laboratory. Okay, I got I got the sample one done. Um, let's do Genesis Forces. Why not? Um, or at least, which one has, like, items that I would like? Not that. MP up, up. That'd be nice. Oh, this actually has high levels. Okay. Yeah, let's do these. Foes in the slums. So if anime, thank you for the uh, raid. Welcome in. Ba -da, ba -da. Just slumming it up here on the slum day. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, he's just standing there. <laughs> Menacingly! Activating oh, for god's mode. sake. Taking you down if oh no you don't! Yeah, I wish I wish the, the, the power stance button wasn't two button presses. Taking you or at least was if you had a dedicated button or something. I don't know if there's a way to change it, but I'd like to. Oh, yeah. Hugging, hugging, hugging. And hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Not Genesis showing up. 
Oh, my God. I keep getting dispel and my barriers messed up. Y'all, one at a time. Pretty, please. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, lucky star? Let's go. No, no, no. Time to dance. I'm on fire now. You can do it, Zach. Yeah, I'm on fire now. This'll do. Gonna love this. Oh, baby, that hurts. Woo! God, I love Lucky Star. It's such a good oh, one. Because yeah. all it does is just make your hits critical, but like, holy shit, does it hurt. <laughs> Ladies, please, it's enough of y'all. One at a time. All right. Okay, let's do a few more. Um, actually, let me see if I can meld that thing now. How's my equipment looking? Mm, the ember still needs some some juice, some power. Uh... It's the MP up up. What the fuck? I'll be honest, guys. I've never 100% completed Crisis Core before with all the missions. I didn't know some of these locations existed. Because, like, this is a, you know, like a boat from the original, basically. But I'm like, damn. Crazy that all, some of these locations only exist in the missions. Also, I got a nut? What's that about? Where's Solid Snake? Phoenix down, like that. All right, we're going to need one of those for the fight. Hello? Oh, there's, okay. Oh, there's six chests. Hold on. Yeah, I'm on a boat. With my filthy foppies. I'm on a motherfucking boat. Remember that? Remember that, uh, little skit? Hello? Damn, bitch, you live like this? Is that pizza? That moldy pizza on the bread? Or on the bed? <laughs> Coffee cups? Ew, it's disgusting in here. Ew, rancid. Why are they sleeping out in the hallway? Okay. Activating combat mode. <laughs> Conflict resolved. I'm at the end game and grinding through the missions now. They really do get you with some of the uh, one shot deaths. It's crazy. Yeah, I imagine, you know, it's like it's all optional content. It's like stupid hard, but like, holy crap. Look at these. Wow. Man, these are. I didn't know all the missions had like this many locations. It's crazy. I've never seen this before. Activating salt Thanks. And lightning. There we go. Oh, yeah. Four looks cleaner than those supposed beds. Seriously. It's disgusting. The foghorn out here. Activating I need to hit that. God damn it. I got my Buster Sword proficiency up, and now I take uh, no oh, damage, and that's it. Wow, that's power. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get it up all the way. I love being able to break the the damage limit. That's how you know. That's like peak Final Fantasy right there. Actually, I'm gonna do my magic barrier and see if I can get some proficiency out of that. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here's the last one. Oh, hey, Genesis. There's some free time. Activating combat mode. Oh, God, there's two! 
it's funny. He just has copies of himself running around. It's so fucking funny. Ah! Ow. Octa slash bet. Better run for it. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. That's gonna kill him, right? There we go. Yep, knock him out. My dispel is stronger, like that. Don't understand how you can make dispel stronger. I, I imagine it's just like it takes things off. How, how, how stronger can it get? Um. Oh, there yeah. we go. That activating combat load mode lady is getting her bank. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> What are these copies made out of? That's a very, like, Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts thing. So it's just like, oh, yeah, we can just make people. Don't think about it too much. Okay. I think that... Let's see what we can do here. Um... Well, I can master this with something. Is there anything stronger than this right now? Or no? Under a blade, I can do... Ooh. I can do... Blizzard. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, my God, yeah. Does that do anything? Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, just a blizzard mixed in with, um... I guess it's my high, it's my big blizzard. My maxed out blizzard. There it is. There it is. Okay, cool. Yeah! Okay, that's cool. Alright. I don't think I need an item for it. Like, nice! Nice, nice, nice. Mm, is there a, f I wish there was like a fuse by result thing on here. You know, it's like show you what the things that you could make. I just like crazy for thinking that's a thing. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can mix up my barriers now. Um. Damn, it's still. Nope, damn it. It's not good enough. Nope. All right. Crap. Well, I can always just use the two. You basically, have wall, a poor man's wall. Um, we're gonna go with Blazaga Blade, cause that seems like it would really hurt. Uh, dispel. We're gonna keep. Barry. We're gonna keep thunder. We're gonna keep. Um, unless should I change that to jump? One of these. I. I don't think this is gonna come in much handy, so I'll go back to my jump. Um. All right. I think that's good enough. All right, you guys ready? I think, I think Barrier will be more helpful than Blizzard, or, uh, uh, Magic Barrier. Okay, let's go. Try getting the Hell Elemental to Magics in a Conflict status debuffs and sometimes instant death. I mean, I w I'm definitely a little underleveled for this area, but I'm kind of- Oh, fuck no, I'm out of here. Bye! Over it. Toodaloo! Hey, Sephiroth. Hope you don't do anything crazy again. You, we would talk this out just like bros. Tifa. Did Sephiroth do this to you? Who else? <laughs> yeah, bad bitches make do. Let's go. Speaking of bad bitches, this really is Cloud's moment coming up. You, Shinra, soldier, and you. I hate you all. Hey, that's in the flashback. Uh -oh. Knock, knock.
<laughs> We're pissed enough. Property damage, here we come. Mother, Fuck that door. Let's take back the planet together. I... I had an epiphany. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Let's go to the promised land. Mother. Sephiroth! Sephiroth goes to Disneyland. Why did you kill the townspeople? Why did you hurt Tifa? Answer me, Sephiroth! This is good. He's he's killing it here. <laughs> mother. Mama. I got some mamas in chat for mother. You should have ruled this planet. You were stronger. Smarter. And now she's a bunch of goop in a tube, so those inferior dullards. What'd they you? came and took this planet away from you. Wasn't hers to begin with, buddy. But don't be sad, Mother. I am with you now. <laughs> God, I love this. It's just like... This is like the raw scene, but it's just like, you know, it's so cool. He just tears it off. The imagery. The famous imagery. We meet at last, Mother. This bitch grows. Oh, they changed it. They covered her face. Whoa! Like before, you could. S Sephiroth, what the hell? Why'd they do that? Why'd they cover her head? Before she had like eyes and everything. She she's not now. She's got a fucking bucket on her head. I trusted you! Small detail. I wonder why. I wonder if that's gonna be relevant moving forward. Alright, here you go. Just hanging out. I wonder if that's an- I wonder- there's gotta be reason for that. They're hiding something new? Maybe. Maybe Genova looks different now. Kinda fine with that. I mean, she did have, like, anime girl face syndrome, except, you know, goopy monster-like. Genova's supposed to be an alien, yeah. But before you, like, you could see her face, but again, it just looked like a, a, you know, basic bitch anime girl face. But, you know, with, like, goopy textures and all that. She had, like, glowy eyes. Wasn't it like that in Advent Children, too? You don't see her in Advent Children. She's in a box. Activating combat mode. You only see, like, the flashbacks. Like, you see her face in this scene. That's, like, when you're supposed to see it. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Let's just... Let's, let's talk this out, buddy. Okay, I can jump, though. Heads up! Rude! Rude! Bye now! He fucking sp split me in half. Holy shit. I was worried about it. I was like, yeah, he's got some strong attacks. Wow. See, this is what I was talking about. Ouch. It's because I didn't block it. It's because I landed in it technically. does not want me to do the little jump. How about this? Taking you down a bit is gonna sting. Here we go. <laughs> that would hurt. Oh, I'm glad that worked. Wow. Oh, not Heartless Angel. Mama, anything but that. Oh. Oh, not the Thundaga. Don't like the Thundaga. Ooh, baby. Not about this. The vibes? Vibes are off. Ah. 
Okay, hold on. Ooh. This is scary. Hold on. Let me put my Phoenix down on. He's not playing no games. Sure ain't. It guards against that? That's so stupid. DMW! Juice anytime, baby! This is new. I don't remember him having this kind of, like, these things. There's a bunch of small things that are, like, really new. Finally! Okay! Concentrate. I'm feeling it! I thought maybe it had something to do with the T rating, uh, since uh, later Sephiroth is carrying for a severed head, and that's container, it's not, not as gory. Yeah, I know, but like, they got away with it several years ago. I feel like now it's even easier to get away with shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, it's an interesting thing to change. Uh, there's gotta be a reason by it. That's like an active decision, you know what I'm saying? Okay, rebirth flame, Phoenix time. Kaka? This is raw. Holy crap. Kaka! Oh, you're in trouble now. Oh, God, the frame rate's dying too. Bye, y'all. I'm glad that knocks him right out of it. That's so hot. Love that for me. Long ago, catastrophe struck this planet. Flashback. There we go. Your DMW. ancestors survived somehow by scurrying and hiding in fear. The planet was saved through the sacrifice of a Cetra. After which, your kind would multiply as if nothing happened. Meanwhile, the Cetra now only exist within the pages of reports like well, technically these. there's one left so so what exactly does that have to do with you don't you see we have the ancient called genova unearthed from a 2000 year old stratum and we have the genova project the goal of the genova project was in essence to create a human being possessing the great powers of etc but they're but they're not though they created me See, that's the, that's the one, like, that was the one fatal mistake when it came to Genova, is that the scientists believed that Genova was, like, an ancient and, like, related to the Cetra when they weren't. Genova's a completely separate thing. They're literally an alien, you know, but they they think, they thought it had something to do with all the Cetras, right? Fake news! Literally that, though. They, they misunderstood. <gasps> Woo! Okay. I was like, oh god, brain fart. Bye now. Yeah, Genova was a third party, and the scientists misunderstood. Because they were so focused on, like, the promised land and the Cetra that when they found something, they're like, holy shit, this has to be it. And it's like, uh-uh, honey, that's not what you think it is. How about this? This is gonna sting. Got him. Yeah! To okay, are we gonna... Is there still the second phase to this where you have to, like, prevent yourself from getting pushed off by Sephiroth? Is this the push-pull one? No. You're not... You're not the Sephiroth I once knew! Yeah, first try, sure. Yeah, that, that first one didn't count. <laughs> I am the Chosen One. I have been chosen to rule this planet. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. 
There it is. Who else is pissing themselves right now? <laughs> who, else, who else is turned on and scared? There it is. Game is over. I was, I was waiting for it. Activating combat mode. Taking you down a bit. Oh, and door? Okay, sick. That's great. Oh, crap. Bye now. This'll do. Heads up. What's a girl gotta do to get some fucking juice around here? I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Why isn't the DMW higher? Zach, the stakes. Think of the stakes. God, it doesn't matter. Shish kebab, Taco Bell, boom, bitch. Gotcha. I mean, get froggy with it. It's <laughs> your jump time. Oh, Cloud, get, sick him. Get him, boys. He's, he's just chilling. Hurry while he's talking to Mama. And scene. Those little cat eyes. Bitch, gotcha. God, that thing is so big. He got shanked. And somehow did not die. Well, okay, that's the thing. I say, well, well I'll, I'll talk about this in a sec. It's like, what actually happens to Sephiroth after this scene? See, it's a, the belief that he just kind of walked this off. He did not. Oh yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. As I say, How there's the severed head. You. He's holding it. Cloud, finish Sephiroth off. It rhymed. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the smoke either. I'm not really sure what that was about. Sephiroth! Man, okay, he really screaming. <laughs> Get him! Yeah, Cloud, don't don't announce your presence like that next time. It's kind of gun for it. It's like one of those Japanese animes. Yeah, touching reunion. He's like, bitch, you stabbed me. Oh, this is the rawest fu- Ah, God, this hurts. See, he's also smoking. That's me. Why, why are they smoking? God, it's so fucking raw! Impossible. Yeah, Cloud's a bad bitch. Let go.
Is that the whispers? I'm thinking it like it, I'm not sure if it's a censorship thing or it's a whispers thing. I'm not sure. Um, unless they make a point to acknowledge it, then I, for as far as I'm concerned, it's a censorship thing. You did great, son. Try not to bleed out. Yeah, Whispers and Barrett did the same thing. I wonder what's going on. And thus begins Sephiroth's lifelong obsession with Cloud. From Advent Children to Smash, it all began causally Frantry Man here. caught Sephiroth lacking. Nice. Seriously, it, it, it always stuck with Sephiroth. Okay, so here's... How did Sephiroth not die there, okay? So, you know, it's like he's stabbed, owie, all right, Cloud throws him to the side, he gets electrocuted, he falls down, okay? No, And also, you know, he falls down with Genova's head and all that shit. He falls down into a reactor core that is connected to, like, the core part of, the, you know, the life stream of the planet, like the heart of the planet, okay? So throughout, and this is in the original Seven as well, they make this a point and stuff. Sephiroth technically stays down there um, after all that. He basically cocoons himself in, in Mako energy and, like, connects himself to the heart of the planet. Um, and throughout the original Seven, you're seeing, like, kind of like a like a ghost manifestation of Sephiroth that he's controlling from within this little cocoon. So, yeah, that that's the thing, is that Sephiroth's actual body never leaves the core. You know, he stays with, infused with the Mako and the energy, and he uses Mako energy to kind of project parts of himself throughout, um, uh, uh, you know, the original Seven, and he uses his little Sephiroth cult people as, like, little vessel hosts. That's how he functions throughout the original seven. That's who you're engaging in the uh, the original seven until you actually confront Cocoon Sephiroth at the end of the game. Okay, so that's it. He actually he 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 literally dies down there, quote unquote, and then he hooks himself up to the the core of the planet. Um, and that's why he's like super super dangerous now. Um, is that he's fused with it. So it's not like Sephiroth fell down there after all that, you know, walked it off, dusted it off, and then he goes la di da di da No, he basically, he goes down there, he seethes for, like, years, you know? He kind of marinates, um, and then he springs into action, you know, at the the events of Seven to get his plan going to uh, enact his uh, his revenge and take over the planet. So that would be happening. Um, that's a thing, too. It's like, I don't want people to understand, like, you know, there's always been that kind of shit in seven where like sephiroth basically fuses with the life stream and the power of the planet and uses it for his own desires yeah ma literally marinates yeah he's in a cocoon you know yeah he's throwing a bitch fit because he lost yeah and he's like forever obsessed with cloud because Always cloud is the one who technically got him you know cloud bested him and he's been mad ever since you tarnish the soldier name and deal Wait! I can't remember if it's the true Sephiroth or the Sephiroth vessel that kills Aerith the original. I can't either, and I'm not really sure, like... You know, it's an extension of Sephiroth. It's basically all him anyway, right? Those wings. I want them too. It's one of the clones that offs Aerith. Yeah, well, again, it's all Sephiroth. It's literally just like the little, you know, the guys um, in the, uh, you know, like the numbers on their sleeves and the little uh, uh, cl uh, cloaks. You know, like the sickly little Sephiroth fans. He's using them as like his little physical vessels and he kind of just possesses them, uses their body and then kind of nopes out. Um, so that's the thing. Like even in the original seven, Se Sephiroth was always pulling the strings from within his little Mako cocoon in, in the core. Um, and, uh, you know, still all him, still all Sephiroth's will. But, you know, he's more powerful than just like a scary guy with the sword, right? After this, he's more than just a super soldier. He's, like, hardwired to the Mako energy of the planet. Kind of scary, you know? 
Okay, yeah, and then Hojo picks us up, and he's like, I'm gonna turn you guys into my new little... <laughs> my new little experiments, because Hojo's a monster, all right? It's been a few years. We've been, we've been, speaking of marinating, we've been marinating in our own little Mako and Fuge cocktail. Uh, Cloud had it the worst, because, like, you know, Zack got fucked up, but Cloud got, like, impaled. Also, he is not as familiar or used to Mako infusion as Zack is, because, like, Zack's, like, actual, you know, soldier versus Cloud, who's just, like, basic bitch, right? Um, he hasn't been Mako infused yet, but now he's got, like, overdose and he's got Mako poisoning. So right now, Cloud's in a very vulnerable state. His brain is literally mush. He doesn't know where the fuck he is. He's, like, a, um... See, he's- he's basically, like, not conscious. His- his brain has been turned into Play-Doh. So, this is where Cloud's, uh, psyche is incredibly vulnerable. Um, and, uh, and so is his body. Yeah, it's like getting radiation therapy, but too much. Yeah, it's just Mako poisoning. It does a bunch of weird shit to you. That's- that's why Cloud, the way he is, is because, like, and that's why Zack came out alright, is because he's, you know, he's- he's- he's got Mako resistance already. Um, and his body's used to it versus Cloud, who's just literally a sponge. Um, alright, so let's read some of this mail. <clears throat> Where are you? Where are you, Zax? <laughs> Sephiroth set the whole village on fire. Tifa and her dad went chasing after him. You gotta stop him. Working with Sephiroth. Blah, blah, blah. Don't tell anyone. Please don't tell anyone in Soldier that I asked you about the blonde guy. Okay. <laughs> Please, God. Isn't Cloud suffering from Mako stuff in Advent Children? I'm not sure. Okay, so what's happening in Advent Children is, um, that's after the events of Seven and all that, right? They kind of, like, kind of succeeded at stopping Sephiroth, but, like, Midgar got all fucked up. Um, Advent Children is, uh, Cloud is afflicted by a thing called Geostigma, which is a quote-unquote disease that's affecting the planet. Um, and, uh, what Geostigma actually is, is Sephiroth in the live stream, because again, you can't, you can't kill that bitch for realsies, he's too strong. Um, it's Sephiroth weaponizing the live stream and infecting people with, like, Sephiroth's own little brand. Um, and, uh, and it's basically, like, uh, an extension of Genova. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what Cloud's dealing with in G uh, is Geostigma, which is killing people. Uh, slowly but surely, and is, like, you know, again, trying to choke the planet, um, with the live stream. <clears throat> so it's Sephiroth doing shit. Yeah, Sephiroth peeing in the live stream pool. Literally that, though. Because Sephiroth's like, you can't keep a bad bitch down, okay. Yeah, you killed my physical body? Well, now my live stream's in the actual flow, so now I can start doing, you know, bullshit from there. Um, and that's what happens, is that Sephiroth basically finds uh, people that can be his little vessels, other, you know, super fans of Sephiroth with Kadaj and the gang. Um, Sephiroth, uh, you know, kind of picks them to be, like, his new little hosts, you know, and fix them with the, the Geostigma shit, and he's like, hey... I need you to go find Mother's Head so we can get some more Genova cells in this bitch so Sephiroth can come back, you know, and use Kadaj as his own little vessel. Um, you know, it's because, like, he's in live stream form, but he needs the Genova right cells to kind of grow himself back and up. Take a look and that, that's the Advent Children's plot, is that Sephiroth finds a way to come back through Kadaj. At this point, Sephiroth and Genova become a single being able to traverse the live stream. No yeah, basically, like they're, like they're not infused, infused. With, I, I, I don't know the exact details of it, but like right now, what Sephiroth is doing is that he's cocooned in the core of the planet, connected to the Mako energy, um, like the Mako in the existing planet versus the live stream. It's kind of like circling it. Um, but yeah, he's basically like him and Genova are like BFFs now because he's got you know the heads down there with him. Um, and a bunch of other shit, so. Yeah, Sephiroth's super strong. <laughs> Sephiroth is basically weaponizing the planet against the planet. Because he's hooked up to the controls. Combat mode. And Genova is a parasitic, you know, takeover parasite, so of course he can do that. That's what Genova is, and, like, the scientists thought that Genova was a Sentra. You know, part of the ancient race that used to rule the planet, right? Who, like, inherited the planet. 
Sephiroth believing that Genova was actually a Sentra. Everyone else believing that Genova was a Sentra. No, Genova's a parasitic alien who just takes over hosts, right? Um, and, uh, and, and that's, that's her power. And that's why she can weaponize the live stream. Yeah, he became a virus, yeah. So, yeah, all this, all this stuff was all, like, established in the original. So, like, I get kind of peeved when people are like, none of this makes fucking sense in Advent Children. I'm like, it makes perfect sense, because he could literally pop in and out of people's bodies as little vessels in the original. No, it's it's not in incredibly, it's not a far reach to say that he's in the live stream now and he can inflict people with geostigma. You know, it's like he's he's literally using the power the, the power of the planet against its own people. Yeah, Genova is just the thing. Yep. And then the scientists were like, "Wow, look at this discovery buried deep within the Earth. It must be a Sentra. You know, one of the ancients we keep hearing so much about. Not realizing that, hey, maybe it got so deep buried in the Earth because it was a fucking meteor that crashed into the planet a long time ago." <laughs> All right, anyway, yeah, you're doing great, champ. Pat-pats, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta get some clothes for Cloud. Activating combat mode. Oh, these little creepy guys. Hey, bitches. It's the dorky face. Got him. Conflict resolved. I'm sure Cloud will be fine. Yeah, it's fine, just put him in a shower. This is why I hate people saying the Avent was garbage movie. Like, it was not the best movie, but it was still decent slash good. I think Avent Children's pretty good, honestly. I look back at it, and I'm just like, I, I don't know. I, I And I think maybe it's because, like, the original Seven. Um, I truly think the art style and all that was kind of softening the, the blow a little bit of some of, like, the goofier shit. And, um... And I, I don't know. I feel like Avent Children did a pretty good job. Um, and I know people are like, ah, Cloud's emo. He's not himself. And I'm like, yeah, because Cloud wasn't himself through like two thirds of the original. So, oh, you're the complete version. Well, I prefer the complete version. I think that that should be the one people watch. I'm pretty sure that's the one available on 4K. I think complete's good. Um, it adds a ton more context and uh, uh, important um, kind of details to help guide the viewer along. Um, but, uh, I- I think Emo Cloud is actually good, because, like, and I- I hate to constantly bring this shit up. I've- I've been tempted to make a video be like, Advent Children is good, actually. Um, because, uh, like, Cloud is, like, stupid depressed. Understandably so. He watched a- a lot of his close friends die. He had an identity crisis halfway through. They kinda won, but they lost like a shit ton of people in the process. Like all the fucking Midgar got fucking, you know, absolutely was like, <laughs> was caught in the crossfire between absolute obliteration and winning. So like a shit ton of people died trying to save the planet and they kinda did, but like, you know, the, the aftermath of all of that, Okay. And it's only like, what, like two years after the events? It's like, you would be fucking depressed too, because Cloud at that point in his life feels like he failed so many people. And he doesn't feel like he's worthy of protecting anybody, because he feels like, again, he has so much survivor guilt. Um, so he's fucking emo as hell throughout the entire thing, and that's why he's a loner. He doesn't want to be around anybody anymore, because he feels like he's just, a, you know, he'll, he lets people down. I'll be right back. Um, Don't worry. so yeah, I know it's like, again, like, ah, uh, it's not Cloud, he never said let's mosey in Advent Children, and again, it's like, first of all, that was a translation thing. Um, but like, it would be, it would be weird for Cloud to be in such happy-go-lucky spirits after all of that. I'm just saying, it's like, thousands of people died. And like, I get it's like a goofy, at the time it was kind of like a goofy cartoon aesthetic that was kind of softening the blow, but like, a lot of people fucking died. You know, and have you, after, after having letting that sit for a little while, you'd probably be depressed out of your mind too. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Cloud is also remembering Zach. Plus, he uh, been kicking himself for the death of Zach and everything. Again, he has insane survivor's guilt, and he just wants to isolate himself because he feels like being around people. He just, he literally says, like, I don't feel good enough. You know, um, I'm not. I'm not fit to protect anybody, he tells the Tifa. Um, and, you know, the whole point of Advent Children is basically 
Cloud getting his mojo back you do it. and, you know, fighting Sephiroth one-on-one -on -one and kind of proving to himself that, like, no, you were the only one capable of defeating Sephiroth. Yeah, you didn't do, like, you didn't save everybody, but the only one that can stop him, strong enough to stop him. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like Advent Children, um, and I know, like, Kadaj and all that is, like, again, another Sephiroth stand-in, but... Um, Advent Children gave you, like, a, one of the coolest fucking Sephiroth Cloud showdown scenes. Definitely something people wanted to see in, like, you know, in a sexy Final Fantasy VII way. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like people just kind of, mit, like, really do surface level, uh, reads on the Seven plot. They don't bother to look e e deeper into the lore of the story. They're just like, Sephiroth is bad guy, Cloud is cool guy and they fight and 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 Aerith dies and it's sad and i'm like okay well we just kind of you know oh it's like oh god we're saved finally here are the hi fellas great to see you again why are you pointing your guns at me wait a second think you can catch me think again Also, the Bahamut fight in the movie was fantastic. Yeah, I think it's a sick action movie, honestly. And I think, like, the things that they set up, set up, work up perfectly fine. Because it's like, there wasn't a ton to wrap up after, you know? So it's really just, like, the aftermath of all the carnage and then just Cloud trying to learn no to get way. his mojo back. I'm never going back. So I like Avan Children. I think out of all the Final Fantasy movies, Avan Children is the best one Actually, by a long shot. Especially after Complete. I thought the original was fine, I thought the original was good, and then Complete just makes it better, you know? Gives you more context, gives you more character growth, it's just good. Good vibes all around. How many Final Fantasy movies are there? Um... I can only name three off the top of my head. Uh, there's Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Um, and hey, put them down. Um, you know, there's Spirits Within, uh, Avon Children, and then Kingsglaive. Activating and I'm sure there's some outside of that, but I, I, that's the only three, I, the big ones I can name. But Avon Children's easily the best. Um, I would rate them kind of like, uh, from best to worst is Avon Children, Kingsglaive, and then Spirits Within. Spirits Within is honestly not even that terrible of a movie, in my opinion. It's just kind of boring. Uh, soma, 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 jump, 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 jump. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, there's a few animes, like there's, you know, I, I don't count that as a movie though. Combat mode. Would you play the entire Final Fantasy VII Remaster on stream sometime? Maybe with Climb to be dead. Maybe! It's been a while since I've played the original. Um, and I did enjoy my playthrough. Uh, but, uh... Oh, we're running out of time. Okay, alright. They're gonna steal Cloud. Okay, we gotta get going. We gotta go! Oh, wrong button, wrong button. My boy, my mans! Shit! Oh, crap! <laughs> Prove your for honor to me. Take that! Put down my boyfriend! Yes, yeah, seriously! Later! Conflict resolved. Oh my god! Stop! Bonk him on the head! Leave him alone! Yeah. Put down the twink! Um, also, Little Mac, thank you for the 55 months earlier. I'm so sorry I missed that like 10 minutes ago. Saying she works hard for the money. Thank you so much! Uh -oh. Also, Retro K, thank you for the 52. Not feeling good. Saying hello, fellow gamers. Uh, man, this year is over in a couple of days. Hope everyone has a safe 2023. Likewise. Thank you so much. This is bad. I'd better fall back. 
Cloud had way too much gamer juice. He did submerge head to toe in juice. Couldn't handle it. Cloud gonna get some serious back it's issues for that. Time. I know it's posture. He's shrimping. Still a little weak. Should we rest till dark? Oh, this song. Cloud. Bum bum. Is this Mako poisoning? <clears throat> hey, Aunt Jill. Can I not save anyone? See, now Zach's having the same problem. He's also getting depressed. He's like, wow, this is kind of dire. Right. I'm gonna go find you a change of clothes. Those Mako soaked clothes will definitely not help you get back on your feet. You wait here, okay? I'll be right back. Bum, 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 Activating bum, combat bum. mode. Hey! Got him! God, what a great soundtrack. Take that! The end! Conflict resolved. When we hit the end oh, of the game, yeah. can we get a Hannah Montana transition? Of course, Lenny, of course. I'm gonna try to beat it today. Um I'm trying to remember where the clothes are. Pretty sure they're in this room over here. Oh, hey, console. Tell me you're lying. Got an announcement from the general. Affairs that you were killed in action, but those announcements are never true, are they? Where are you? What are you doing? What do you have to do for the company to reclassify yourself as a dead man? Let me uh, help if you're in a jam. Talk to me. I'll wait. I it's I think it's so like I like the mailbox, but it's also kind of like a little annoying that we can't reply at all. It's like we're leaving everybody on red. You know, I would have been like, yeah, I'm not dead at the very least. <laughs> like in Catherine, you know, like when you receive a text message. Like, I get why they didn't do it, because, like, oh, goddamn, yeah. like, you know, imagine, like, making reply options for, uh, the mailing system, but it's just, like, it's kind of hey, rude, Zach. This'll be used. Guys, this is so fucking tragic, what the hell? Yeah, this ending hurts. Hey. Did you get the collector edition for this game? I did not. I'm playing on a basic uh, uh, digital bad. copy on Switch. Desperate times. <gasps> Doesn't that outfit look familiar, fellas? Looks pretty good on you. They're tiny, but you have lots, right? That's right. Want to hear? <laughs> How many you got? <laughs> hmm. Twenty-three? Right there. Activating depression modes for reals. I have twenty-three tiny wishes. But you probably won't remember them all. So, I put them all together into one. <laughs> I'd like to spend more time with you. Speaking of leaving people on red, Aerith been sending letters left and right, getting nothing back. Hey, Cloud. I... I have to go to Midgar. You want to come with me? <laughs> you know he can't talk! What choice does he have? For those wondering why Zack lost to the army after fighting something close to a god, keep in mind he was experimented on for four years, this carried Cloud for about a year, and again fought Genesis sometime in September just before the last Oh yeah, he was exhausted. Pam, I think for the dollar. Yeah, it's like he... 
Well, that, and they literally sent an army after him. That's the thing. It's like a, he literally fought his way through an army for like a full fucking day. And he, you know, out of everything that he had been doing, too. Time to think for the dollar. Uh. You can't fool me, Zach, where you could possibly be. Let me know if you're reading this. You've gone missing since your mission with Sephiroth. Did you have anything to do with Sephiroth being killed in action? I heard rumors about something going to Nibelheim. Um, are you there right now? <laughs> he won't know. Yeah, he was on his last leg. Yeah, well, he was fighting, like, from, from dusk to dawn. He was literally a one-man army. Um, you know, after all of this shit done on his own. Like, all Zach wanted to do, you know, was be a great soldier. And then, you know, Shinra fucking turns on him, and they're like, well, you're no use to us anymore. Turns into Hojo's little experiment. Um, you know, then he's a fucking, uh, uh, uh you know, okay. man on the run. We're leaving town. Come on now. <sighs> yeah, and he almost won. Yeah, he almost won. He just got shot down. Last set of groups, he was exhausted. It never ends. Yeah, Mike on console show. If he wasn't that, if it was that worried for reals, it's like Zach, ask for help. All right, and Cisne's coming up. I'll oh, this is a weird chapter. This is where you have to use like sniper rifles against like. Eliminate the patrols and secure the area. How about I just find my way through? There we go. Yeah, yes, guys, the sniper section, as we know. It's not really so. Get victory rest. royale. Yeah, Fortnite. We bad to get you? down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Speed up, camera. Guys, I don't know if I'm that good of a shot. First of all, how is this not being heard from like a bajillion miles away? Okay, yeah, fuck that. I always thought this was dumb as fuck. Auto assist. I failed upwards in the sniper section. I'm just running. Fuck it. This shit's stupid. <laughs> oh, yes. The Shinra machine's gathering near the water hole. <laughs> Gotta get their nutrition. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Oh, yeah. Those machines gotta stay hydrated, uh huh. Nah, it's stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm let them escape, alright? They get off with a warning. Taking you down a bay. God, this does damage. Yeah, power stance uh, jump oh, is the way yeah. to go, guys. Chest over here. Nope. Well, hold on. It, it looks like there's a drum there. Let's see if I can have any luck with that. I can enhance it? Hold on. I blew this up. <laughs> I love video game logic. It's so fun. <laughs> that looks like a drum filled with oil. Filled with oil. What could go wrong? <laughs> now they're on a day, yeah. Kaboom. Sparks fly. It's like electric city, I might die.
Did they improve this part? Is it still similar? It seems pretty similar. It looks like there's an option to enhance the gun. This isn't necessary, though. There's a lot of shit like this in Crisis Core where you can really just run past it. They just want you to get to the next point. Activating combat mode. Bye now. Here we go. Conflict resolved. The end. Oh, yeah. Nothing but drums. Oh my god, let's do it. What's that? Let's try the enhancing thing. What is this? Enhance a sniper rifle. Oh wow. Dum dum dum. I don't think this will work. They're running away! No, okay, whatever. Again, this is a really silly section. Activating combat mode. I don't know what they were thinking here. They're like, we I just we just gotta make it more video gamesy in this section. We can't just be having him run. Oh my god, look at that. Gotta take old Betsy out back, put her down. <laughs> Taking you down a peg. Hey, later. How about this? The sniper section, the section just for the re uh, oh, just yeah. for the achievements. Oh, okay, result. perfect. Well, even more reason for me to not get the shit. Yeah, holy damage. All right, and Sisme's like, hey, listen, I found you. However, <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of rifles hanging around. Activating just some mode. like this is just like what the average farmer field That's is in the U.S. Got him. Uh, yeah, I guess they just wanted to make this path a little more interesting than just walk from just point A to B. Identity treated like a political statement by my boss, so I made a write-up statement on him. You streaming today just made me feel better. Thank you, Buns. Oh, go, go, go. All right, thank, thank you for the two. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Oh, my God. But you've got to stand up for yourself. Proud of you. Thank you so much. Hope you, I hope it works out for you. Seriously, that fucking sucks. Ooh, got my neck. All right, here we go. It's Cisne time. Go from here. Can't do much when I've got Cloud to worry about. And Jill, what should I do? Well, you're you're doing a stand-up babysitting job, that's for sure. Hi, Cisne. She's like, gotcha. Surprise. Hey, Cisne. Been a while. Zach. The fugitive sample. Is it you? It would appear so. What did they do to you in that place? Juice. So much well, juice. This and that. So, Cisne, you're here to take us back, right? Please, just walk away. I thought we could outrun the army. But the Turks are a different story. Zack, I'm sorry. This is my job. If you want to escape, you have to. Girl, just quit. This shit ridiculous. All this for a paycheck?
step back. Next time, I'll really have to... <laughs> oh, it's so cool with her hair now, just gusting in the wind. Gaslight her, seriously. The Turks are here, too. It's too dangerous to move now. We'll rest here until morning. Then we'll leave at dawn. Yeah, this voice is like, I, I don't know. He really did get better throughout the game. It's kind of crazy that like older Zack is like, really, it's very fitting. Cisne. Wait, he... He's the other sample they collected at Nibelheim. Why did you come here? I told you to go away. He doesn't look well, Zack. Is he all right? No, bitch! They did this to him. Severe case. The experiments, isn't it? Yeah. Hey! Sung? I've lost the target. <sighs> Love her. Love her. That's how it is. So get away safely. See, this and I this is why I believe that she like resigned this after this or like relocated or something. Thank you. Here's a present. I hope we see her again. If you think you can trust me, then use it. <laughs> we'll miss you, I know. Literally, the rookie who still has a heart. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I I don't think it's like a stretch that much, you know. Like she, yeah, she probably. Oh God, the hair scene here it comes. Apparently there was a glitch of the old Zack scene played during this scene. I did see that, yeah. But I didn't hear it. Ugh, not again. Can Turk just simply resign from Shinra? Well, we were talking about that. I don't think it's as easy as just, like, I'm, I quit. Um, but I'm sure she could have been asked to be relocated to, like, desk duty. You know what I'm saying? Like, put in a less critical role. Get off me! Let's hear this hit. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. My hair! Stop pulling! When the war of the beast... Oh, God! He's monologuing! The goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss, her gift everlasting. Bitch, you ever gonna take a bite out of that apple? That's my hair! I wonder if he has to make a pit stop every time he has some kind of, like, altercation. He's like, hold on, pull off on the side of the road, I gotta get myself a dumb apple before we go and a confront them. A modified version of Genova's power runs through you. What? Seriously? He just ate my hair. <laughs> his his delivery is even funnier. Oh my god. <laughs> the degradation will cease. You are twisted. The monster has been harvested and can be destroyed. Zack Spaghetti. Mm. You're mm, the dandruff. monster. Mm, 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 mm. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface quietly but surely. Just decapitate him at this point, Zach. God, just big old, big old swing. Hey, bada bada. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, don't forget, guys. Like, Zach's, like, infused, you know, with Mako experiment, new cells, that kind of ordeal. So that's why they ate the hair, just to kind of see what would happen. Remember, Genesis is in desperate need to find a way to stop his degradation, and he's like, well, Zach's got some sexy new cells. Let's see if that'll help. Yeah, for someone who's falling apart, Genesis looks like well, he's holding it together. This thing hurts. Okay, hold on. Um... Heads up! Bye now! Oh, lucky star, baby! Let's go! Over. Doesn't look like it helped. No, it didn't. Worth a shot, though. Yeah, Remember, this is, you know, Genesis is in flailing fish form right now. He's literally throwing anything at the wall to try to help him. Oh, crap. Oh, God, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Oh, he'll firmly grasp it. Ew. The road to becoming first is not easy. Strength is not the only requirement. Yeah, I know. In four years, he hasn't come up with a shit kind of grasping at Shross at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he tried, like, uh, you know, relaxing retreat, some spring water treatment. You know, something to get his skin nice and good. My dream is to become a hero. All right. You have my support. So sad. Okay, all right, let's go. Stop rush go. <clears throat> Prove your honor to me. Ah, man. Two. Boom. Got him. Hey, 27. Angeal. What do I do? Well, that was lame. See, now Zack is flailing. Now Zack feels hopeless. He's like, fuck, I don't know any way out of this situation. <laughs> All right, here we go. One of my favorite fights is coming up. I, I really do like the Hollander fight. Whoa, whoa. Cloud, this is my hometown. Go Gaga, everybody. This is Gun Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> Gun Gaga. <laughs> We're meeting Lady Gun Gaga here. Oh my God, huge fan. No. I can't go to my house. They're probably waiting for us there. Wait here. That okay. motorcycle's gotta have some good gas mileage. I wonder how long they've been driving. Yeah, seriously. I'm a little worried about my parents. I wonder how mom's doing. It's risky. No. But should I go back? No. Think about what happened to Angel's mom. All right. One second, fellas. Let me, um... Shit. Okay. Mm, I'm pretty content with this layout, actually. Let me check my equipment really fast. Do I have anything else on here that stop, prevents stop, but also... Adds poison attack to some abilities, prevents silence, prevents stops. Nope, not right. I think we're good with this. I like my setup. I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> Yo! 
your parents are probably gone gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're probably right though. They probably are fucking dead. Oh, hello, sir. Hmm. There's a chest here, but it's blood. I think that huge sword of yours can Yeah? Spicy time? Oh, there's something in it. What happens if Cloud needs to use the bathroom? That's what. He's on babysitting duty. Big diapers. Holy shit. Mama, how'd that fit in there? Activating combat okay, mode. let's do it. I still have my, uh... I have my phoenix down, so I'm not too worried. Oh, damn it. Fire! I don't have that. Oh, but I do have this! Prove your honor to me. I got it. Oh, Conflict yeah. Resolved. Oh, I got that one. I don't think Cloud's even eaten. Yeah, he's. he's he, Mama's tired. Yeah, we should. Yeah, sure. This is cool. We got some chests in here. Can I skip? Yeah. What the hell is it? Activating what came out of it? Oh, another bird? Okay. Here we go. How about this? Mm, spell? Spell? And lucky start! You can do it, Zach. Oh, damn it. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Taking you down a bit. Oh, God, it hurts so much. It's so oh, yeah. good. It's sexy. I got a nut. All right, here's one more. This one seems just not shaking at all. What's in it? I swear to God, if a robot comes out of it, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, 6,000. Oh, wow, money. Love that. Okay. All right, cool. Let's go find Highlander. Speaking of money, hold on. Time to go shopping. Thank God the Shinra shop does not give a fuck if I'm a fugitive or not. Now that's a quality. We're rich before we die, but we're rich! <laughs> yeah, Shinra will sell to anyone. That's com- mm, that's, uh, that's corporate greed for you. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Oh, we got plums. Mmm, plum, plum, plum. Num, 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 num. Got a remedy. Man, this area looks great now. It's so much more lush, this environment. Before it was, you know, again, on PSP, it was pretty bare. Behind you. So <gasps> predictable. Couldn't you guess your hometown would be the first place we'd look? Hmm. Here to see your parents? Yeah, so? What's wrong with that? I see. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. It was pretty careless. We'll be going. Be careful. I don't know if his mom's parents Security are Security is very tight right now. Yeah, bet. Apparently, another target is in the area. Who? Angeal. <gasps> I see. I see. He died by your hand. You're not surprised. No one's staying down for good around here. He helped us. Escape Shinra Manor. Interesting. The sighting reports were true. 
But why would he come to a place like Gungaga? <laughs> he came here to see you. What other reason could there be? Run away if you can, Angeal. The Turks are watching. Bitch. I'll give you ten minutes. After that, I return to the Turks. <gasps> Turn. Right now, I'm not in the mood. I can't bring bad news to your parents. Oh, okay, that's right, they are alive. My mom. How is she? She's worried. Aww. She thinks after all this, you'll never be able to find someone to marry. What's up with that? Aww. They're nice people. And they're doing fine. Okay, I forgot. They do actually confirm that they're okay. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Why would they come to Kangaga? Bitch, what? Who would come here? It's like Lady Gaga make a video. <laughs> How's your folks? Oh, what? Now we're small talking? I was raised inside Chinra. Uh, uh. Hey, Sisne. Would you mind keeping my folks company for a while? All right. No problem. They'll probably ask you to join the family. Already happened. Oh. What did you say? Sisne. Not my real name. <gasps> you have 5 minutes left. Wow, she's counting. Oh Angel? fuck. Angeal, it is you! Sure. Sure it is, buddy. But there's a, so many motherfuckers Everybody. running around here with wings. Yeah, no, it's an alias. Is that a real name? Is it really Angeal? Only one way to find out. Alright, not before I don't get, get those chests in the cutscenes. God, why they tease me that hard? Okay, got the elixir, and there's another one here. Love that horse. Bada bing, bada boom. New shop is available. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Improves the chances. Okay, yeah, I forgot about these. Okay, wow. N nothing but lucky stars, fellas. Ah, so tranquil. Love nature. Love this forest. Hugging the sides. Hugging the sides. All right, here we go. Confrontation time. Hey, wait! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's great. That's fine. I swear to God, every time we oh, see no. Genesis, their guns get bigger. This sells. Oh Sorry. no! Now they got they got a taste for his hair. I hope. You better believe it. Leveled up, too. All right. Let's see the results. There. Your data from last month. So I th th right. thought throw that in, you know? Last month. Ah! He's fighting his own data. Whatsoever. Ah! Training's over. Ah! Maybe I should leave him with Sephiroth for a while. Oh, my God. Brace yourself. Let me taste your wig. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Oh, Dark Shadow, yeah, I already passed the point. Um, I think they patched it already. Because I didn't hear it, so. I know what you're talking about, though. I saw a clip of it. 
All right, dispel, dispel. Let's get rid of that. Okay, dispel. Out of here. This'll do. Taking you down a peg. Got him. Uh, it's never explained why Lizard uh, angelifies himself. Well, apparently, and this was uh, brought up to me um, uh, the other day. Um, I believe Pam was the one who brought it up. I can't remember. Um, but uh, in one of the side missions, it's revealed that Lazard is actually a love child of President Shinra. So he kind of... Um, Hollander. He uh, uh, defects from Shinra out of, like, anger. Yes. After nearly being killed by Genesis, it was really all I could do to survive. I merely borrowed... <laughs> His little wing! Genesis. You know you're degrading. Indeed. But there is still some hope. But why get himself the slowly dying cells? I'm not sure. Not 100% certain. The gift of the goddess. A pure S cell sample will stop the degradation process. Pure? Mom, I ain't pure. There are two of you on the run. Uh, no. One is a former soldier operative, the other an infantryman. That infantryman carries within his body the last pure S cells in the world. Hey! Clouds loaded! S cell vending machine. The verse in Act 4 that leads into the final act? No, I'm not a fucking theater kid. Legend Actually, I am, but like, not in this case. Of sacrifice at world's end. <laughs> The wind sails over the water's surface, quietly. Once again, monologuing. Surely. Enough about sacrifices and endings. I don't want to hear it. You don't understand the beauty of these words. How tragic. I'm not surprised. Even I didn't understand all of it. Well, Genesis, when it's coming from you, it kind of all sounds like... Just saying. The water's surface, and the answer No one cares, boo, throws tomatoes, yeah. Get light. off the stage! What? We paid ten dollars for this! ...regarding the missing final act. However... No, theater kid derogatory in this case. And I will prove it to you. No, that won't be necessary. Ah! I'm like flopping you so comically. Then he's flying into the air. You're a theater Clouds kid? Quick, danger. name every theater. Back to the reactor. <laughs> Gotta move quick. Oh god, alright, we're out of here. Oh god, oh god, okay. Return to the bond. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. And we're out of here. <laughs> Cloud! Shit! Alright, anyway, we're out of here. Let's go. Yeah, Zack acquired dumb apple. The gift of the goddess. <laughs> Gotta get back to my boy! Man, Genesis could have been cool if they made him like an actual character instead of whatever the fuck this loveless shit is. Well. We were talking about this. There's not enough screen time given to Genesis and Angeal to really flesh them out. Um, or at least, like, yeah, they spend he spends way too much time monologuing. Genesis is just melodramatic. He's just naturally melodramatic. Um, and he has an obsession with Loveless, and he thinks that the cure to his, you know, degradation is somewhere in Loveless. Um, and he thinks it's, you know, again, referring to his future or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, he like um, Genesis has a bad case of main character syndrome. You know? All right, this is my favorite favorite fights because it's kind of goofy. I'm gonna let him go for his uh, super attack because it's it's kind of funny Watch as hell. Out. Yeah, I'm honestly unsure what Nojima was going for there, but uh, yeah, I, I think 
they're kind of just standing for like tragic characters, you know? Both Angeal and Genesis dealing with their inevitable fate. Oh my fucking god, that was so funny. It's fucking just. <laughs> you. That was that was quite the delivery right there. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Funny worms. It got, it like fucking Hollander's like Mary Poppins with that bag. There's so many goodies in there. Come on, hand it over. Okay, now he's throwing up on me. Oh, fucking hell. You disgusting. This'll do. Come on, come kill it. Come closer. Funny worm. Bye now. Dead worms. Oh, he's reduced to ice? I guess he runs hot, you know? Likes that coolage. Zach! Grandpa's oh, shitting again. Yeah, he's shitting, throwing up all over the place. I'm just about to head back to Midgar. I see. Meanwhile, we have to clean up this mess. Zach, about Costa del Sol, I was- Walmart Hojo, yeah, literally that though. Don't worry about it. It's all water under the bridge. All right, cute scene, I'll, I want to get with it. Lucky star. You can do it. I got it. Here we go. Take that. Hey, this'll do. That seems fair. Wait, Cisne. Man, we're getting a lot of Cisne flashbacks right now. Suit everywhere he goes. <laughs> were you hoping to see him in swimming trunks? No, just wondering if he gets hot. What's the holdup? Let's go. So you get hot in that thing? How how well does that fabric breathe? Brace yourself. You can do it, Zach. Okay, Hollander, can you do your super attack before I kill you? I want to show. I want to show Chat the funny super attack. Ow! Not the funny worms. Not what. Not what I'm talking about. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop off. Pop off, King. Here we go. <laughs> it's so funny. He just pulls a fucking missile out of his tote bag. Feel my pain. Ow. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. Oh, we can end it on. Oh, I hope we can end it on Apocalypse. Hold on. Let me, let me get a little bit more damage in. Here we go. All right. Apocalypse time. You're in for it now. It's so good. Show me the true power. Doctor Strange love ass super attack. <laughs> he's loving the bomb. What can I say? Look at him. he's got his he's got his Mary Poppins baggie. Truly scrumptious. Oh, I thought I'd kill him. All right, whatever. Here we go. Take that. Got it. Oh, got Easy peasy. Death by a thousand farts. <laughs> you know the tech is fucked up when I generally couldn't tell if the wet ass fart no noise was a part of the game or not. <laughs> and he's out of here. It's been a long time, Zack. <gasps> <laughs> so, what happened? That thing wasn't so tough. I can't fight like a first. I'm just, just an angel copy. <gasps> copy? Gasp! 
It's Lazard. So, you're the one who helped Hollander out of Junon? Why would you do such a thing? To exact my revenge. I needed Hollander. You really chose the wrong friends, didn't you? Ah! I agree. Ah! I never ah! dreamed I'd be turned into an Angeal cop. That's okay, that explains it. Well, you basically got fucked over. Project G. It's a strange feeling. Hmm? The lust for vengeance that had so consumed my life is all but gone now. And its place is a desire to help you. A desire to save Genesis. The explanation is like no. a fucking idiot. Yeah, seriously. Well, he, again, he, he had daddy issues. He defected, I, went to Hollander. Was, I guess, like, Hollander, I he was like, hey, could you make me world. strong enough to en enact my revenge? And he's like, sure! And he turns him into an Angeal cop, and he's like, this is not what I had in mind. So, yeah, this is, this is a revenge attempt gone horribly wrong, and now he's degrading. <laughs> Remember, guys, Ho Hollander's kind of bad at his job. That, that's kind of the catch. Nothing strange about that. <laughs> Angeal lives inside you. <laughs> Genesis is trying to obtain the gift of the goddess. It's, it's apples. But what is it exactly? Dumb apples. No. Whatever it is, he must be stopped. I just... What was Lazar trying to get revenge for? I think I missed that part. They explain it as a side mission, but Lazard is a love child from President Shinra. He's a bastard son, and I guess he had, you know, daddy resentment. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe, I don't know if we missed the scene where they, like, try to fire him after all the fucked up, you know, the failed uh, soldier shit or what, and he just gets really mad. Huh? Oh yeah, Shinra abandoned oh. him and his mom, yeah. Let's see. The mom died? Oh, okay. To become a hero. But yeah, it's an aside mission, apparently. <laughs> Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Oh, come on. Lend me a hand. You and Angeal both. If we pull this off, we'll all be heroes. At the very least, I feel like one. Oh. <laughs> So, Zack, where is Genesis? I don't know. Probably performing somewhere. Monologuing? I see. So, Hollander is basically just a less ugly and less capable version of Hojo. Yeah, Hollander is the second, like, um, you know, uh, Hojo basically got the, you know, the big promotion or whatever. It's like head of Shinra's science division or whatever. Hollander was jealous, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, Hollander is, is just not as smart as Hojo, um, and has always been, like, a wannabe. Um, Hojo even says that, that Hollander couldn't cure the common cold, you know? So, yeah, Hollander, um, ha also had a grudge against Shinra, but was not nearly as competent. Dumb apples only grow in Benora. Why is that? Because, like, Hollander made Genesis, who wasn't considered, like, you know, was considered a failure. And then Hojo made Sephiroth, and it's like, Shinra was like, wow, get a load of that super soldier. Here you go, Hojo, you win. It looks so different now. Wow. Can I leave Cloud with you? Yes. What? So anything we're gonna hear more about Rebirth? Probably in the anniversary. Probably in April. Most likely. Alright. I know this might seem an odd place to stop, however, um, I do have some stuff, uh, happening in a little bit, and I do have to get some other work done. Um, plus we have tomorrow, uh, technically New Year's isn't for another day. Uh, so let me get to this section here. I actually think we are going to wrap up here for the day, because this ending, uh, this ending area is not super, super long, um, but I want to be able to take my time and absorb the ending, not think about shit too much. Uh, if I can get to a save point... Without jumping in first. Hmm. 
Hmm. Same. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, I think I'll just stop right here. Fuck it. I can. I can go. I, I don't know. Should I just dive in? The safe should be. Like I can't come back. Can I find it, girl? Can I get a save around here? Why would you? Why would you wall me off here and not give me a save? Got to save some time to cry properly. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like if I don't want to rush this, um, and uh, I got, I have to prepare for tonight. I gotta go do some stuff later. Where is the goddamn save around here, bitch? I, is it really in the hole? I have no option. Don't worry about cloud. Yeah, sure, bet. Happy New Year from Australia, buns. But oh, Saki, oh, congrats! Don't say congrats. It's a Happy New Year. Happy New Year, one and all. All right, yeah. I guess I'll just dump it and fly into the hole. Fuck it. There we go. Was this here before? Hmm. Where does it lead? I'm shocked they didn't put a save checkpoint out there. Benora White Juice. <gasps> First prize processed foods. National Agriculture. Oh my god, the juice! The juice! Wow. The gift of the goddess, the Benora White Juice. This juice came from a Benora youth named Genesis. Genesis wow. was the juice maker all along! Young Genesis's comments. I am very honored. Benora white juice tastes great, but the fruit itself is tasty too. Whoa. My dream is for my parents and I to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. Oh. Genesis. The juice! I know, the juice man himself. The juice god among us. Is there anything I can do? Juice? I don't know, more juice. Yeah, I got the little Genesis reading corner over here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, depths of judgment, here we go. Yeah, I think we'll stop here. This is the final dungeon, quote unquote. Um. There we go, yeah, this is, this is quite the process to do all this here. Hold on. Here. Okay, we got the light materia. We gotta fill. Yeah, we gotta open up the materia gate. This actually does take a little bit of time, a little bit of back and forth. And all right, guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here for today. Uh, we're on the cusp of the ending. However, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. We'll have a shorter stream because um, I just don't want to rush through it and uh, take my time. And I got stuff to do, and I don't think I can finish it in time. So, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out, vibing out, um, being a part of the streams. And I guess until next time. Yeah.